Hey, this is Reverend coming to you live from the world famous comedy store main room for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Here's Tony Hicks, please. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Good evening. Welcome to another episode of Kill Tony, the number one live podcast in the world. Look, everybody, it's Brian Redband. What's up, hey. guys? Ryan J. E. Belt's right here drawing tonight's episode already. We are streaming live on our regular stream and live in VR 360. There's a camera right there, a camera right there, and there's other cameras around here. And you can literally just jump into the audience at the main room of the fucking world-famous comedy store right now. We're the only show that gives it to you, the number one live podcast in the world, Kill Tony. I'm excited about life, people. The final show of the Monster Energy Outbreak Tour is tomorrow here. Oh, shit. Wow. Me, Joe Rogan, Brendan Schaub, Greg Fitzsimmons, uh, Jeremiah Watkins. It's going to be a really fun show. And um, the fuck was I uh, doing? Tacoma, Washington this weekend. I got Denver Comedy Works coming up on other things. And Oh, yeah, the Boston Comedy Festival we're doing on uh, Friday, right. September 22nd, the Kill Tony show. That's actual Kill Tony. The rest of that was stand-up. But September 22nd, Kill Tony's at the Boston Comedy Festival. Yes. So we're really excited about that. It's always fun going into different cities. You get to meet different people. A lot of people try it for the first time, we find out in those cities. So it's always fun to meet different characters. I'm excited about tonight's show. Very typical, fun, already set up show. Shall we just jump right into it? You guys Let's ready do to do this shit? This is Kill Tony, live at the world famous comedy store. Uh, let's bring up the comedians first. Does that make sense? Yeah. Two of my favorites, uh, tonight's show, Roast Battle, brilliant writers, Emmy-nominated comedy writers, and unbelievable stand-up comedians. You've seen them on this show before. Two of my favorite humans. Make some noise for the great Mike Lawrence and Jason Galern. Absolute joke smiths. Hell yeah. Mike Lawrence and Jason Galern. Fuck yeah. What's up, funny motherfuckers? It's good, yeah. There you go. <laughs> I didn't plan to, to take those two hits of weed. I was just going to have a beer, and then they put weed in my face. So we got Jason little, high before the show. I Any, mean, you know, as Any, long as I, I don't have to do stand up, I can pull it off. I'm a stoner, but I didn't. That means I'm the only one. Night. That means I'm the only one who's going to remember the bad comedy. That's great. Right. <laughs> Beautiful. Sobriety. It it's sucks. A, it's, it's a podcast as well. Unfortunately, it's yeah. That's it, what we're doing. We're blocking it out right yeah. now. So. It lives forever. Uh, so welcome back to the show, guys. You've done it before. We know what you're in for with you two. I consider this a perfectly booked show. I'm so excited about it. And there's only one thing we're missing. It's uh, the band. Everybody's favorite band. Fuck I know it's yeah. my favorite band. One of the best damn bands in comedy. Let's see how every week they do a different uh, intro. I never know what they're going to do, and they try to commit to these characters throughout the episode. It's always incredible. Put your hands together for the Kill Tony band, ladies and gentlemen. It's Pat Reagan, Jeremiah Watkins, and Joel Jimenez. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They are definitely chefs. This looks like every other Adam Sandler SNL sketch from, like, 1993. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. I love that the only guy not wearing a hairnet uh, has perhaps the scariest hair I've ever seen in my life. The last hair I would want in my food. I'm Gordon Ramsay, mate. You better watch your fucking knock. Wait, are you guys celebrity chefs? This must be celebrity chef Chris Angel here with the saxophone. <laughs> Everything gonna be I. <laughs> Wait, what? what? Fuck? You're I can't right. tell if that was Cajun or Jamaican or. <laughs> <laughs> Jaman. Oh, there you go. And then we have, uh, and then we have Chef Boyardee on the end there going through chemotherapy, right? And then we have every actual chef in Los Angeles on the drums. <laughs> it's Mario. I'm pretty excited about it. So we're going to see how much you guys can act like chefs tonight. That'll be fun. And uh, you guys ready to start the fucking show? I have Ichabod's Bucket of Destiny in front of me. If you don't know, now you know. Before the show, from 6 o'clock to 7.30 p.m., pretty much anybody can sign their name up on a list. Then they sort of try to sit over there. 
And uh, if I pull their name out of the bucket, uh, they come up and they perform 60 seconds of what could be stand-up or any type of life performance, I guess, <laughs> from what we've seen on this show. Uh, sometimes it's a completely crazy person. Sometimes it's someone from the future, some winners from America's Got Talent and things like that. We've met them first on this show. So let's just jump into it. They get 60 seconds. Comedians, you, you know your time's up when you hear the sound of a kitty. That means wrap it up then, or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. There it is. You guys ready to start tonight's show, or what? Here we go. It begins that easily. And your first person doing an uninter uninterrupted 60 seconds tonight goes by the name of Javi Luna. I actually know Javi. Javi Luna. Is he not here? Here he comes. Wow. All right, how's it going? Uh, I'm actually from Corpus Christi, Texas. Uh, yeah, just south of Houston. I actually floated here. <laughs> Saved a ton on uh, airfare, so, you know. Buoyancy, right? Fuck it. Uh, I noticed y'all don't have a lot of fucking fat people here. I was up in Oxnard the other day, and uh, someone was like, hey, man, thanks for holding it down for the big boys. And he was like 200 pounds. I'm like, bro, you're at my goal weight. <laughs> that about, I was about to ask him for workout advice. Like, what is that, a 2X? I, that's cute. I remember fifth grade. <laughs> Actually, I got into comedy because I got tired of all the typical fat jokes. You know, nice tits. When's the last time you saw your dick? You know, you're shooing for cancer. Probably going to be a burden on your family, the healthcare system. <laughs> And society as a whole, you know the typical fare. I don't understand the I don't understand the dick one. I don't get the big deal. I've never woke up in the morning thought, man, I sure wish I could search my my dick for like five minutes. That's not a big <laughs> deal. Is it being able to see it somehow helps to function? I'll tell you right now, I make love like Stevie Wonder plays the piano. I can't see what I'm doing, but I still make sweet music. Happy <laughs> Luna. Javi Luna, you are adorable. You As know you that? Do you get told that well. a lot? You know what? My mom. You look like if Trump built his wall, you would sit on it and then have a great fall. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you went to Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory and then the Gathering of the Juggalos. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How long have you been in uh, Cali? I know I met you in Texas a few times. Yeah, yeah I, got, I got here Wednesday. Yeah, I was in Cali. I was up in Oxnard all weekend at oh. the Liberty Club. Very cool. Yeah. So you're just visiting? Just visiting. Leave tomorrow. And remind, remind tell everybody, how long have you been doing stand-up again? I've been doing comedy for six years. Six years. Yeah. yeah. All you of it in tell. Texas. You could tell. Thank, thank you. How's it going out there? It's, uh, it's going. You, uh, you have like a family? I do. I have two, two children, a three-year-old and a ten-year-old. By the looks of things, you have right. four more on the way. <laughs> <laughs> He's having one now. There you go. Right. Great delivery. Uh, hey, you respect this man, all right? Lex <laughs> Luger body slammed him on the Intrepid <laughs> in 1993. He's Joko Zuno over here. <laughs> yeah. So, Javi, uh, you have two kids, and oh, how, what, how old are they? Three years old and ten years old. Ten years old? Yeah. How old are you? I'm 33. 33. Fat yes. don't crack. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. I would assume that's when you were gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could still be right. <laughs> How do you make a living? Um, I run a, a comedy club down in Corpus Christi, and then uh, I do the road here and there. Oh, so you make a living solely off of stand-up? I do. Not a great one, but I do. Yeah. yeah. Did you get flooded at all? I didn't. We got a lot of a uh, lot of wind, fences knocked down, power lost. Did you open the doors to your comedy club before Joel Osteen opened the doors to his <laughs> church? <laughs> I don't think he owns the property, bro. No, because our people left. <laughs> yeah, there's there, there's not seven million, so we were able to all get out. Is your club okay? Inside? Yeah, the club's fine. Uh, most of the city's fine. Just a lot of mess that needs to get cleaned up. You yeah. seem like a happy guy. I am. Well, do I have a reason not to be? What's There's like orphanages <laughs> flooded, but the comedy club stands proving there is no God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you afraid of in life, Javi? What scares you? 
Um, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm sure there's a no I fear say, well, tattoo well, well, somewhere. Well, yeah, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. I'll, show, I'll, I'll show you later. Vegetables is his only fear. Kale. <laughs> Kale. <laughs> He's going to ask for <laughs> all of your autographs by the end of tonight. <laughs> <laughs> You're dressed as right, his favorite uh, people. Javi, are you Mexican? Yes. Mexican? Uh, yes. Have you ever fair. thought of going by the stage name Ralphie De Mayo? <laughs> <laughs> Schulberg <laughs> is in the motherfucking house already. I have him now. <laughs> I love that. He's got the comedians behind him tonight. Wow, I love it. I was it. actually thinking Ralphie Jorge. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Brian throwing in tags over here. I like um, the ethnic jokes. All right. You are so adorable. Thank you. Do you ever use that to your advantage you. in life? All the time. How? Can you give us uh, an example? Yeah, I, I don't get any of the like bad treatment by police officers. I'm too. Like right. they're not. You're just they, like, oh, sorry. Yeah, how are yeah, they going to choke you? Exactly. Yeah. Getting the extra pair of handcuffs is you know a little. Get your hands tedious. somewhat behind your uh, <laughs> back, I guess. Yeah, if they if they stop and frisk, that's their entire shift. <laughs> They shoot him and it bounces back. <laughs> Do you have any needles, guns, or turkey basters that I need to know about <laughs> before? He just unzips his face and we realize Carlos Mencia has been hiding there. And this was his Trojan horse way of getting back at the comedy store. <laughs> Javi, right. what else are you doing in L.A. while you're in town? Uh, nothing. I, I, I leave, I leave first thing in the morning. So what did you this, get to do while you were here? Out? Anything cool? Uh, See anything interesting? Uh, nothing. When, when saw the Viper room and all that, just walked up, hang, hung out on the strip when I got here. Oh, Boring. Cool. Yeah. With the, what strip? This, uh, little this sunset. One. Yeah. That's it? That's it. All right, not the New That's York it. strip. <laughs> see, I was going to make a dumb joke, and I didn't. I knew I'm, you glad, I'm glad you did, because it was good to see uh, what it would have gone like had I done it. Was that what you were really doing? I was like wondering. <laughs> oh, I was going to go chicken strip. I was just going to hit it right on the head, but I'm like, ah, oh, the timing's just not right. It'll just sound hacky. <laughs> I to How about New York strip? I wanna, make a recommendation, sir. I mean, the I want to talk about the act, but the act it was like perfectly good comedy. It was like it was like you're probably. It's true. Thank you. It's true. The, here's here's the reality. This is the, if, if there's an advice part of this, right? So you can stay in Corpus Christi and probably be the best person there. Yeah, for you'll definitely be the, the biggest fish in a very small <laughs> pond. Yeah. Because you are certainly the blowfish of yeah. uh, comedy, yes. and also Hootie. But <laughs> but the thing is, but you you need to be somewhere. And I know you, you have a family, so it's probably harder. But it's like you would be like all the jokes were really good, but I'm not going to remember them tomorrow. That's just the truth. That's but I feel now, bro. like I feel like if you go to New York, if you come here, and you. You're like the second or third, you know, like worst person on a show. It's gonna make you fucking work so hard, and then you'll be as good as you can actually but be. I think you you're good your now, but you could be great. So that's what I would say. You get you. a hot air balloon made in your likeness, <laughs> and you tour around the country in the hot air balloon. <laughs> you you post it all on social media. Hot air balloons. There you go. Actual size. Hell yeah. I mean, your town is literally washed up. Like, the, all I'm saying is just, no. <laughs> oh, that was too far. That was too far. Like, your pants, they, they that belt is just, I mean, everything <laughs> must really be working there. Yeah. That's defying gravity, it <laughs> seems. It almost doesn't make sense. Like, <laughs> the, He's a feature that has his own support act. <laughs> <laughs> I love Dude, it. Has the format of the show changed since I've been? Here? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. One minute and then fifteen minutes. If I, I thought the. Uh, first of all, I love your dad. Are you your good dad? Are you married or no? Yes, you're married too. Yes, okay. I'm married. So you're out too. All right, congrats, bro. Thank you. Round of applause for this fucking guy. He's a dad. He thinks this is his big shot. This is why he's here. Well, J okay. Jason, you really know how to rile up the fathers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who loves that? Well, let dads? me give him a fucking compliment, man. Listen, that that joke was fucking great. When you say, people say you can't, in fact, I can't look at his dick. He's like, do you want to look at your dick for five minutes? That's a brilliant joke. It bombed, but they might be as high as me. That's a fucking great joke. <laughs> Thank you. And yeah. I love the fucking, was that a, a flood joke you floated here? Yeah. It was a bit, I mean, it's 
new. It's hacky, but it's new, and it got a fucking laugh. So who gives a fuck? And okay. uh, it's not to po- It's not possible, but it still fucking works. That is but, the weirdest applause break that started, but I'm glad it stopped. It's hacky, but it got a laugh. So who gives a fuck? Yeah. <laughs> but let me tell you too. Half like, of comedy, you're fucking like likable. They obviously love you. Like you're a fucking nice guy, and that's half of it, fucking too, man. You got great jokes, so awesome. Thank you're you. You're really likable. You're a cool cat. I'd like to give a special shout out to Javi's stand-in, my friend Christian <laughs> over here, comes to every episode. Uh, just want to let you know. Are uh, you supposed to get famous before you have a fucking stand-in? But he's ready. You're, you're about 15 years off. It's got a sit-in. Are you uh, going to bring your family here and all that? Are you going to move to L.A. and listen to fucking Lawrence? Or what's um, the plan? It's not like in the immediate future or anything, but eventually. Probably uh-huh, yeah. uh-huh. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Well, good luck to you, brother. Thank you're you. Cool motherfucker. So. I like him. There you go. I agree. Javi Luna, ladies and gentlemen. There he goes. Six years. Coming in, killing it. That's fun. (laughs) One of the youngest, uh, one of the youngest 33-year-olds you'll ever see in your life. Javi Luna. There he goes. Back to fourth grade. (laughs) Causing a Javi Luna eclipse wherever he goes. (laughs) You had it. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Andrew Clements. Fuck yeah. Seems like Andrew... uh, Blacklisted. I was so worried it was going to be the other fat guy and we'd have to do like 10 more minutes. (laughs) You are also large. (laughs) Sure, I'm glad that I floated here from Mexico. All right. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Zara Ali. Fuck yeah. Ooh, we got some scaredy cats out here. What the fuck is going on? What's happening? We need to get back to that. From now on, if you sign up and you're not here, you go on a probation. Put your hands together for Max Hoover. Fuck yeah, Max. Thank you. Hi. Um, my name is Max. Uh, I didn't like my name growing up because there were two other Maxes in my neighborhood, uh, <laughs> both of which were golden retrievers. <laughs> it's a dog's name. <laughs> but it's a good dog's name. I think it's dumb that bats are the only animal whose shit has its own name. Guano. Who the fuck are they? The rest of us just make poop. Guys, we make the words. Our shit should be called guano. They can have bat shit. That's already a term. Boom, Andrew Clements, very awesome. Wow. That's incredible. That's great. Hi, Andrew. It's Max, but thank you. Oh, really? Did I mix it up? It's literally the oh, first wow. half of the <laughs> bit. These people that don't <laughs> show <talk> up. <laughs> Sorry. It, I get it, the names. Hey, pe- Tony. I like this guy because his personality is bland, but his jokes are salty. You know what I mean, man? Come on. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Max, how long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, like seven months now. Yeah. Wow. wow. Good Lord. So funny, bro. How hey, old are you? Uh, I'm 23. Where are you from? Uh, Akron, Ohio. Yeah. yeah. Have you been on the, have you oh, West, <laughs> nice guy, too. Man. Have you been on this show before? This is my first time, yeah. Oh, very good. Wow. I've been coming to it for a while, though. Oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Did, you, did you know that I'm from Youngstown, Ohio? I did, actually. And yeah. We got a Columbus guy over there, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're our new best friend. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. I mean, it looks like if James Vanderbeek played a school shooter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's a compliment. Like, we all laugh, but, like, your thank nervous you so delivery, oh, we yeah. were just waiting for the gun to come out <laughs> if we didn't laugh. <laughs> what have you been doing? Oh, Guano does deserve its own. <laughs> what were you doing with your life up until starting stand-up? Um, I actually came here for a job. I'm a 
civil engineer. Wow. So like, this <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that. I yeah, like um, those uncivil engineers. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, and I'd been a huge stand-up fan where like I tried it just being adjacent to here already. I was like, if I ended up here, like I was coming to the store already having not having no intention to try it. You know, how long? How like how much material do you have? Um, 60 like, seconds. Realistically, like, probably half of whatever I think I have. But, like, so I probably have, like, 10 minutes, 15. Like, I don't know. I write a lot. But rah, rah. How, much, oh how many times God. a week do you go Is up? that something that chefs do that I don't know about? <laughs> don't worry about um. it. <laughs> <laughs> do you go up, like, uh, multiple times a day, a week? Or? Uh, yeah, I probably get up, like, five or six times a week. Uh, or, like, days a week. I and you're like, also a civil engineer. I am, yeah. So I feel like, no, now that I know all that and I see, like, how you're all put together and everything, I feel like you have everything pretty much all, like, organized in life. And So what are some of your, like, dark secrets? Um, <laughs> I don't know the, the darkest... The two dogs named well, Max I, I are dead I and he murdered them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I definitely think I put on a more uh, put-together appeal or, like, vibe than I probably am. Like for I instance, I get up, falling apart. I, I get up like yeah, thank you. Uh, no, I get up like most nights a week. Yet I don't do it without weed or booze. Like I'm very, I'm not a comfortable up here at all, despite really liking it. So like I, I, I mask that. Months. That's huh? a recipe that, for disaster. <laughs> so, uh, but well, the thing is, T, it's like I kind of get where you're uh, going. It's like the civil engineer shit so you went to school for that you have a full time yeah. full time gig yeah it's a so I'm that's, go, that's, I'm that's go, that the plan I'm my grandfather go. was a civil rights engineer <laughs> <laughs> my great grandfather was a civil war engineer <laughs> okie dokie uh, so I'm chef a, boy R.D. Uh, Buddy uh, Reagan uh, right uh, uh, <laughs> alright so let me go back to a question that I okay. asked you earlier. Some of your like darker secrets. What are some things that uh, you know that you do that you sort of come on, you know the ones. Yeah, I know, but like the thing is this is the one question I didn't want you me to ask. Just I'm that go boring ahead. where like it's just not an just answer it honestly. I don't think he has too many, honestly. You have a jerk you off till your fingernails bleed. He's an engineer. <laughs> oh. you, is your parents I, I bite my fingernails. That's no, that's go, so too. lame for the, yeah, oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, I don't have that much, like, dark weird. I'm kind of bland. I mean, he sense, already yeah. said that he's a horrible addict that needs substances to get on stage. I think that's pretty dark and yeah. sad. <laughs> oh, you, I thought you said that you aren't on weed and No, booze. he said no, no, he no, has to only... drink or oh. do drugs in order to perform. I just at seven away. months in. That's that fucking terrifying. And I see, okay. him at, I see him at mics all the time, so that must... Yeah, it's I drink a lot. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Uh -huh. Is that true? How, how much do you drink? How many cups? I mean, I don't drink to get hammered, but I drink most nights because I do stand up most nights, and yeah. I'm not going to do stand up. And you're from Ohio, and that's yeah. just yeah, it makes sense. It's like it uh, that's yeah. the thing we do. How many but, uh, serving sizes? Um, I'm not good with I'm not good with portions. I don't know. Yeah, um, how much did you drink before this minute long set tonight? Um, I probably had. <laughs> I had four beers, but they were IPAs, so that's like... You had four beers six. tonight? Yeah, well, I mean, wow. I to drink. it's Labor Day. Midwest. What do you mean? It's a holiday. I have it's a Monday Ohio. Off. They drink Thank fucking you. beer in Ohio. That's impressive. It's one of my six paid holidays. Yeah, Don't I'm going to enjoy IPA it. on this stage again. The <laughs> fact that some fucking family is going to get run over by this guy when he comes home from an open mic <laughs> is like the most meaningless death I could think of. <laughs> oh, God. And you're going to live. See... Uh. This wait, 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 wait a second. Holy fucking shit. I just realized something. Yeah. Your name is Max Hoover. Correct. And you're from Akron, Ohio. Are you related to the Hoover Vacuum Company power family? You have to be. You are. I can tell by your, your, yeah. your smile. Must, uh, you dude. look like you would be like the rich. <laughs> you're like the grown-up Baron Trump of the vacuum. <laughs> Of the vacuum company. Did I just bust you on this? Because I know that <laughs> His Hoover... His brothers are medium and tile floor. None of my <laughs> even friends out here know that, and you just read that. And well, that's because I, I've had to uh, drive we, My family hasn't owned it since, like, the 80s. Like, we sold it to the Japanese who owned Dirt Devil back when, like, my dad was a kid. There's... Where's the money, though? You are that guy! Who's this is money? what I'm fucking talking about. <laughs> oh, yes. Hey... You are going to fucking clean house with That's all your so new impressive. Hoover jokes that you're going to have. <laughs> hey, hey, open micers. Rob this guy after this show. <laughs>
Wow. His family what? wants to deport the people that use his products the most. <laughs> Tell the truth. Who vacuums the floor at, for in real life at the Hoover household? Uh, the cleaning lady. What do you mean? Ah! <laughs> oh, demonic laugh, I guess. <laughs> yeah, the See, the fucking cleaning lady. but in her defense, she has to drink or get high every time before she cleans yeah, yeah, the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's a big stick. She yeah. uses a Dyson. Do you, do you guys... <laughs> it just works better. Do you guys make, like, wacky vacuum jokes around the house and stuff? Um, it's actually talked about a lot less than you'd expect. Really? Like, we're not, His grandfather's like, suicide note just said, my life sucks. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Do you have to work, man? Are you? Do you have family what, what, money? Do you have um, to work? It, it's funny because like I'm a I'm a trust fund kid, but by technicality, meaning I have a trust fund, it's I've been asked how much it is, and I've been told it's a shockingly low amount. Where like it's all that's been, what they it's want trickled you. Trickled down. I mean, you're already 23. When the fuck? It, when are you getting it? Um, sure have it. That's the thing. I don't know. I mean, my dad and I aren't that close. We're like, I ask him, and he's like, "Shut there up!" And then like, Shut up! Really you didn't fun. invent the vacuum. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Well, neither did you, blah, Bill. Blah, blah, blah. Neither did you, Bill. <laughs> that's funny. Here's your next bit. That's you Bill Hoover to you. <laughs> Hoover. <laughs> Do you think I'm just gonna sweep <laughs> this under the rug? Blah, 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 blah. Well, blah, 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 blah. Dude, all I know is when your fucking parents die, you're gonna clean up. I made that. That's good. I like, I like that. Well, I'll be damned. Hoover, that is. <laughs> Maybe you'll even have so much money you'll do the Roomba. Oh. All these Hoover jokes suck. <laughs> that was just Richard Nixon. That was just a Richard Nixon. It's me. It's me, Max's dad. I am not a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> I am not a cook. All right. I got a penny stuck inside me. <laughs> you ever put a vacuum cleaner on your cock? Oh, oh Jesus! <laughs> yeah, you dirt devil, you. <laughs> you dirty, dirty dirt devil. Ew. Oh, you fucking bitch! <laughs> oh, go over and take this attachment. No, I've never done that. No? Yeah. Not even the bristly little attachment thing? No, like, no, that's like 70s that. no, pubes no, no, or whatever? No, no, you no. never got off on that? <laughs> Dude, did you grow up like in, a, like in a really nice fucking house, like a mansion? No, like standard upper middle class where it's not okay. like just... You know, the standard. Suburbia. Yeah, like... <laughs> but, uh, and by yeah. the way, it's... There not were two golden retrievers that. in my neighborhood, like that kind of neighborhood. Yeah, There's like, an, uh, Brian can attest this. Standard upper middle class in Ohio terms does not have a cleaning lady and you're bullshitting yeah, us yeah, right yeah, now. Because you don't want the comedians to know that you're from a rich family because then they're going to ask you for like bus fare and shit. Rich boy. There you know, you know, he had a good upbringing when he's seven months into comedy and he's like, Guano, that's what I'm taking down. Like, <laughs> 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 what the fuck is up with that? He's smart. Pick your he's battles, man. Brain. Yeah. Bro, can I give you some advice? Yeah, can please. I give you some advice. So, the booze. Yeah. I think you're a great comic already at seven months and you'll be. Great, 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 because all those great jokes you have, you'll just add more, 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 more. So you'll be great, but the booze, you know, I mean, I, I like to get stoned and have a drink, yeah. but I would say fucking c curb it now. No. Yeah. Or, no, or, yeah, no. <laughs> that, 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 come on, oh, hold on. Get him. Half, uh, half our buddies are either no. stoned. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to take the throw. I'm going to take the, I'm going to take this one for yeah, sure. Yeah. You, if, if you want to drink, drink, but I would not drink before your sets at this point. I would use it as a reward and train like you Max. should be trained. Max. And then if you want to have fun afterwards, then whatever. Maybe switch to a red wine vinaigrette. Oh, man. Jesus. I mean, All this is this is my thought, though. If you need to do that every time, are you the one that's actually funny? You know what I mean? It's no, like, no, I know what you're saying. earn it. I mean, genuinely, know. it's oh, not like... I agree with funny. him. Like, no, fucking... you know he's funny. He knows he's funny. You need to stop boozing now. You seem sober as fuck, it's, man, and you did a good job. I don't think it's if you, you need a couple beers to get on stage, right to have a couple beers. Yeah. I had a comic wow. have a couple drinks to get on stage. No, no, don't do that. <laughs> no, that's fucking horrible advice, especially if, if he has to, to drive home it. afterwards. That's oh, dangerous. come on. Everyone uh, does I, it. I Uber. No, they okay. shouldn't, though. <laughs> Look, team, team. <laughs> Brian Redband. Wow, wow. Taking, the, taking a real stand here on pro drinking and driving. He's finally taking a stance on something. Running for president in 2020. Everybody it. does it. Yep. Real <laughs> talk. Just keep some old Starbucks in the car and then just put it underneath your chin if you get pulled over. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> I think what they're trying to say is stay in school, don't be a fool. Drop the okay. blues or else uh, you'll lose. <laughs> bra, bra. All right, Max Hoover, ladies Thank and gentlemen. So there he goes. Oh, yeah, Max, you're great. He's on Twitter at not Max Hoover. Javi Luna, by the way, is on Twitter at Javi Luna Comedy. J A V I L U N A Comedy. Fuck yeah. Chef, you having fun over there? Yeah, the best time in the world. So, you're a Jamaican chef, is that right? Yeah, I'm a dying What do you like to cook? Uh, you know, Jack Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I hope the next guy is like Joe Floby and his like parents invented the Floby or something. Uh, I, I hope so. <laughs> Maybe we'll get lucky. That is Gee. an 80s product. A lot of people don't get that reference in here, Mike Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very good. I <laughs> You know, for a chef, a chef, you have a lot of swagger for a guy. Is this your first time on stage? Ah, no. It used to be a male stripper before he cooking. <laughs> oh, wow. You had a little sound effect and everything there. Wow, okie dokie. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Jason Silvius. <laughs> Woohoo! Silvius? How are we all doing? You good? So, uh, by looking at me, you can probably tell that I don't do a lot of masculine things. Just immediacy. I'm very scrawny, very thin. Um, I like to do things like, you know, most people like to hunt and shoot guns and stuff like that when they're the manly things, you know, play football. You know football? Everyone watch football? No? No? I don't watch football. I watch tennis which is super masculine. Um, no, I like to do things like uh, drink tea and write poetry and cry. Like, those are the things that I'm into. Um, yeah, I don't do a lot of masculine things. Like, I don't have a favorite sexual position. Like, like, all the guys that I know have a favorite sexual position. Like, I don't know, like doggy style or reverse cowgirl or uh, anything as long as she's crying, you know? And I don't, I don't have that. Like, I don't have that. I, my, like, my favorite sexual position is in I mean all right yeah fuck yeah fuck yeah this is what serial killers look like that that Me? sounded less like stand up and more like the opening narration of an indie film I don't want to watch <laughs> it's possible yeah that was like I, I think I've written or not I just like I just felt like we were your therapist. It's oh, just okay. like you're just trying to figure That's out who you half are. Stand up though, isn't it? I, I, I think. Yeah, the other half is jokes, and there were none of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I I disagree. I think they were. You had jokes, and you had a structure joke, not the hugest punchline. So I think the last cat is already a great fucking joke writer. You 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 have the basics. You just need a few you had more fucking I need, I need talent. Is that well, what no, 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 no. And get right into your shit. You don't be like, you know, half your shit's like, you know, just get right into the fucking bit. Yeah, I mean, people okay. can tell your whole thing, your whole aura. You don't have to fucking talk about Jason, it. Jason, I have, I have a bunch I'm of I'm stoned. Well, I have a bunch of questions for you. Okay. Yes, you are. Let's do it. <laughs> <clears throat> so Jason Silvius, am I saying that yeah, right? Yeah, actually. For the first time ever, someone pronounced that name correctly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What kind of name? What? Silvius is what kind of name? I don't know. What do you do for I work? I actually don't know. Up here, up here. What do you do for work? Sorry. <laughs> there was another question. Um, I a copywriter actually. What the f what? Come on. Say I write copy. <laughs> a what? A comedy writer. You're a copywriter. I'm just waiting for him to walk into the machine that turns him into Captain America. <laughs> I was so, so jealous of Chris Evans. I couldn't anyway. quite understand exactly what you were talking about. You, you were just talking about having feminine qualities. Yeah. But you're. A female lesbian, right? No? <laughs> Did the haircut give it away? Is that what I it don't was? know. Every, I think the everything gave it away. When, when you're lesbians. When you're going through That's everything, I thought it was really funny. Like, I like tea was one of your tags. But then you said something about crying. Then you used crying as a bit. Like, like 10 minutes, seconds later, you used crying again as a joke. How long so I would probably change something else. Like, uh, 
the the position part where you're like a lot, she's of, a lot of technical, a lot of technical oh, advice okay. tonight by the yeah. panel. I have, I have personal questions I want to get to here with Jason. Yeah, we never thought you were gay because gay people have a command of the stage. No, oh. yeah, that's that. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Let me jump in with a little bit of truth here. Oh shit. Okay, we're uh, picking on him because he's an easy target. It's a dog eat dog world. Don't worry about it. They're bullies. It's a bully show. You're fine. Anyway, so. No, it's good. It's good. It's I guess so kind. How long know. have you done stand-up? Uh, I did it about six years ago for two years and then stopped for the past three or four. However. Where is my doctor's mask, body? So. Where is it? Are you adopted? I'm not adopted, no. How do you not know where your fucking name comes from? I've, I, uh, I, I've never looked it up because I don't feel like it's necessary. What about your parents? Nobody knows. <laughs> Wait, nobody, nobody knows what? <laughs> nobody knows where my name comes from. No, like like in my family. Like, are you fucking uh, ethnicity? I mean. Yeah, no, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that that's means that you're heard. offspring of Nazis. <laughs> Boss is good. If you have no idea uh, where you're... Someone there, blank there's blonde be. hair yeah, and blue seen. eyes and... Aren't you curious? Don't you and uh, Nacket, probably no. disappointing your father, comes from. Uh, <laughs> it's in your Nazi blood. Okay, okay, very good. So, and Jason, so are you gay? Com. I am not, no. No. No, he yeah. loves pussy. You can just, tell that. <laughs> For sure. He loves pussy. Uh, Jason, I, uh, that's you're... not the sound. That, okay. How can, how can you tell Glenn that this guy loves pussy? What is it? What do you see? I can him? tell he loves fucking pussy. What do you think his favorite is. thing to do to a pussy well, is? I don't know. Do you ask that you love Nail pussy? It to a wolf. Yes. There you go. Do you eat pussy? <laughs> yes. Are you good at eating pussy? I don't know, but I enjoy it. Let's, oh, get, a, let's, let's get a pussy up here right now. With his boy. I don't Fuck know. Yeah, we I can jack off of that. Right, I don't know. <laughs> let's get right. There you go. He's he's not done with his operation yet. Hold on. Wait wait six months. I don't perform well with. Wow this. wow! Look at that. Jason, you look like the kind of guy that if you ate too much pussy, you'd throw up afterwards. <laughs> no. And then he's he yelps the pussy afterwards. <laughs> Made me nauseous, <laughs> two stars. <laughs> have you, you not like made a, You've eaten pussy, but have you not made a woman come? Like, that'll tell you if you can fucking eat pussy. Have you not made a woman come? Uh, not while eating, no. Okay. Too many well, calories. I'll talk to you after the fucking show. Okay. I'll give you a tw half hour fucking tutorial, maybe 15 minutes, and you're when's good. The, when's right. the last time you had sex with a girl? Uh, he lo he looks like if he eats oh. pussy, he have to wait 15 minutes to swim. <laughs> 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 I feel like I came here tonight. How long has it been? It's been two. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome uh, back to Gay Jeopardy. Um, <laughs> about, <laughs> about two, three months. Really? Two, yeah. three two months? months? That's pretty yeah. good. And who is it with? Like a girl that you hook up with a lot? What was the flesh like? My ex-girlfriend <laughs> at the time. Ex-girlfriend. Uh -huh. uh -huh. My ex-girlfriend at the time. And what did you guys do? You went on a date or something like that? Yeah, it was great. <laughs> Took her back to your place? <laughs> no. <laughs> why, did you, her, why did you stop comedy in the first place? Uh, I moved to Oregon, and Oregon's not funny. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so you should use that as a bit that's funny as shit. It's true. <laughs> I was there three weeks ago. You're, yeah, he, right. he looked like he would have died of dysentery on the Oregon Trail. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do for a living? Get that out copywriting. Of copywriting. You copyright for someone in particular? More like copywriting uh, than my wife. I do. Wow. <laughs> Jesus, this chef is <laughs> aggressive tonight. <laughs> Can I say something else, son? <laughs> Look, cause my, honest, my honest advice is like it feels <laughs> like... You mean you seem like someone who stopped and then started again. Yeah. Like, your minute was spent you just trying to figure out who you are. And I think, like, if you look meek, that you have to be even more assertive on stage. Tell us who you are. Don't try to figure it out because it seems like you are like kind of running around in circles and just be a little more like aggressive. You know, like okay. when there's a pussy. Okay. Yeah. Right. Be Become the white person you are. He's not aggressive, though. You're not an aggressive dude. Why the fuck would he be aggressive? What do you, if uh, he's not aggressive? What do you do for fun? What do you do like hobbies and things that you do like at nighttime? Uh, wear a bib. <laughs> At nighttime hobbies, when I'm by myself, is that yeah, okay? or 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 socializing or anything. Uh, video games. Come I'll on, play a lot of that one. Come on, <laughs> dude. But uh, it's true. How much do you? How much do you love comedy? That's how do we you come. Stand up. I I. That's how we come. <laughs> what video game do you have? Like, an app? Do you, what do you like more, video games or stand up? 
Uh, stand up. Okay. Yeah. Good, good, good. good I good. stopped. I literally stopped playing video games so that I could get back into. Really? Like you yeah. had a bad habit? Bobby yep. Lee is a fucking. You, you wear like a headset and everything? Yeah. <laughs> you do. You cam up? Are you, are you on a cam as well? I, I stream on Twitch, yes. What's your wow. Games? What's your games? Shooters? Shooter? No. School shooters? Oh, my game. Oh, yeah. Uh, Uncharted 4, so third person shooters okay. is what I'm what Even is if you didn't do stand up, you should probably just quit that shit altogether. That quit? No. Thousand percent. No, no, all of the video game shit. No, don't do percent. that. Oh, Drink right. and play video games before yeah. you go on the stage. Dude, never do video games before you come on stage. <laughs> like that last guy. I, I, I try not to because I'm not. <laughs> this is the only comedy person. show that's like, drink as much as you want and get shit faced, but never play video games. <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck did he fuck, fuck, fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Man, uh -huh. you hate alcohol, huh, Mike? Yeah. Boy, yeah. boy. Yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> it's ruined lots of comedians' lives. Yeah. We, we're 50-50 on this. I don't know, like, half the panel thinks everyone should be fucked up. Yeah. I well, need like, a drink. I know. Yeah. Josh, can I get another drink? No, get a vodka party a little bit. Can we get three another, vodka another sodas the party. for the band? All right. Right. Me do you out. drink, Jason? I do. Anything that doesn't have an umbrella in it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> beer, man. I came from Oregon. Oregon's like the beer. What is capital. your favorite drink? Tell the truth. My favorite drink? Yeah. Don't vodka. A pint. It's, vodka. It's and literally beer. A pint of beer. Pussy I juice. I love beer. Cider. Pussy I will juice. drink pussy juice. <laughs> <laughs> well fermented. <laughs> All right. Just fresh. What part fresh of town beer. do you live in? Have you ever gotten um, a tummy ache from eating too much pussy? <laughs> I think, we, I think we've made three versions of the joke that you just <laughs> laughed through, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to teach him how to eat pussy after the show, 1,000%. There's a reason you came here tonight. You're going to learn how to eat pussy. I'm going to tell you how to eat can pussy. You can you give him 100%. one quick tip right now? Can you give, give it? Okay, sure. Okay, well. I don't have a pen. Do you? You know. This looks like tape. it's going to be the Rick and Morty fan fiction <laughs> that nobody wants. I know who that is, but. <laughs> just I'll say this. This is a quick show, yeah. but wait about, wait about. 15 minutes till you suck on her clit. So I don't even touch the fucking clit. And I could keep going. But just. <laughs> 15 geez, geez, minutes? Geez. Jesus. Crazy. Whatever. I Galern. don't know how horny she is, but yeah, yeah. Uh, even longer. Fucking longer. You Galern, you just made every guy in the room look like a complete asshole. <laughs> I, well. <laughs> what a not dick. Dick. This helpful advice is more uncomfortable than the bullying No, 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 no. no. This ago. needs to happen. This needs to happen. On stage or off. I'm going to teach you how to play. Wait what a second. Is is I think Pat has a recipe for <laughs> eating pussy. <laughs> uh, I'm going to start with... I have, a, I have a recipe for eating pussy right here. <laughs> Always scoop out the, all the cotton out of it also before licking it. <laughs> okay, so once you hit that spot... Chill out, Keep going, <laughs> but you can take your time. Even kiss the inside of her thigh or take a little yeah. break and watch her squirm. Then go back slower. Number two, think crazy thoughts. Like, don't think about how you're tired. Go back, uh, or, or how you can desperately want her to come to vindicate your masculinity, <laughs> which was shaky from the get-go. Sometimes I'll think shit like, I don't even want you to come. You don't deserve to come. You just a bitch. <laughs> Number three, make sure it's wet. Nothing's worse than trying to stimulate a dry pussy. Here's an easy shortcut. Get some spit on your fingers, then start playing with her pussy manually. If she closes her legs or tells you to stop, then she wasn't going to let you hit it in the first place. Or she's uncomfortable. Either way, relax, stay cool, and back off. She's a human being. Ideally, she's your friend and you love her. You don't have to be in love with her. Just show her love. You know what I mean? Number four, this is important. Move your head from side to side. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> like you want her pussy lips to suck your face off there your you bones. There you go. Fuck yeah. yeah. Ow, ow. Chef That's Patty it. Reagan. That's it. Yeah, yeah, what it. There you go. Very what good. advice would Gordon Ramsay give? <laughs> ah, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jason, did you learn anything here tonight? <laughs> yes. How were you eating pussy before? Can you give us an yeah. honest rundown? Can you just tell the <laughs> truth now, now that you've heard how... Uh, we could have also do. done all of this with Max Hoover. Let's be honest. <laughs> he, he looks like no, he preheats eats the oven before he... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> there okay. was a lot of... There was, it was a manual thing and then a... So like, how, you if you had to describe uh, how you ate pussy before, how would you do it? Poor? What? Poor? No, Poorly. I mean, you could, do, you could do better than that. Correct. Like, okay. what was your method? <laughs> What was my method? Sure, go ahead, Jason. My method. Just let it flow out of you. <laughs> Come on, people are horny here, dude. Let's go. Okay. 
It would be it would be a lot of teasing with the tongue on each side. That's good. Up and, and down. Then, I've never heard good, anyone good, make good. eating pussy right. sound gayer than before. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> First thing I do is teasing right. back and forth, left You're and right. right with the tease, yeah. you know. Maybe you shouldn't talk about it, just do it. But you know, like someone walking down a runway, but I do it with my tongue. So I deep throat it, right? And then... Uh. Yeah, just don't tell the girl how you're going to eat the pussy. I would, ask, I would ask how many occupants were in the premises in the month prior. <laughs> uh, who gives a fuck about that? She's when I eat pussy, I always swallow. <laughs> All right, sorry. Move on. <laughs> 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 I love that you always give yourself a rim Swear shot, no matter what. This guy does look like the home. first person that would eat a girl out with a bib on. You, <laughs> with a picture of the pussy on the bib oh. that he drew himself. <laughs> Use your right hand to play with it, and with your free hand, twirl the baton while you go down there. Then he wipes the sides of his mouth with a napkin. There you go. I, I just lick it up. Did you have fun here tonight, Jason? Yeah. Are you excited to go eat pussies with all your new I'm, talents? I'm very excited. How Aggressive many ladies out there? <laughs> yes, how many ladies? <laughs> For those of you watching in VR 360, okay. let's go, you can turn around at this part. How many ladies out there are excited to let a guy like Jason eat their pussy tonight, oh, huh? Yeah. Look at that. You got a horny crowd, <laughs> I, I will have a good time. I love it. There's a lot of dudes over here. There's oh, a couple. Of, couple there's a couple gay guys over here that clap for you, Jason. Someone's going to open their gates for Bill tonight. <laughs> there you go, Jason Silvius, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck yeah, pussy eater, Jason Silvius. Good work, funny man, good work. Jason Silvius is the pet of Kyra on Twitter. What's the pet of Kyra, Jason? The pet... The pet of Kira. Oh, that's also your stream on Twitch, Twitch. Quit that and too. also Quit his. That too. He's also streaming live on Grinder on it as well, live right now. He's one of the. He's. You he can't stream on. Grindr. He, he's the only guy that has the. He's like the uh, fucking uh, Tom from MySpace of no, Grinder. No way. He's able to stream and cream. Is that real? <laughs> streaming live on. Dude's I don't think he's a closet job. I, I do think he loves pussy, bro. He's a deviant. I can tell. Wow, we know this guy. He got up last week. Put your hands together for Manuel Herrera. Fuck yeah, Manuel. Famous wow, for his uh, aggressive tweeting towards a very normal girl. Two weeks Here he ago. is. Is that legal, T? Manuel Herrera, everybody. Come on. Manny. It's like a Bill Hicks. Yeah. Beat. So I live with my parents, and I used to work for Crazy Chicken, and there was this blonde chick I would flirt with, you know? And I told her, um, have you ever seen uh, Death Proof by Quentin Tarantino? And she was like, oh, I love Tarantino. I want to go over. So she did. And she had never seen it before, and in this movie, the stunt driver murders chicks, you know? And she was like, oh, this is awkward. And she was like... You have bunk beds? And I was like, yeah, I share rooms with my little brother. How old is your little brother? He's 22. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I, I don't, I, at the time, I didn't even have a mattress either because uh, we had bed bugs, but we don't have bed bugs anymore, you know? And we just had a piece of wood on there, and she was like, oh, I think I got to go. So then she left, you know? And I, I thought she was going to tell me something romantic, and she was like, um, which way is the freeway? <laughs> So yeah, that's how I got for today. Thank you. Fuck hey, yeah. Manuel Herrera. How's it going, man? Getting, getting, oh, okay. oh my god. <laughs> getting laughs at parts that I don't think we're supposed to get laughs there, man. Oh yeah, I know. I didn't intend it like that. There's a lot of setting up there, a lot of unnecessary information. Yeah, Death yeah. Proof had nothing to do with anything. You're giving us the plot of the movie yeah, yeah. for nothing. Not a lot of people. You went have on seen a, it. You yeah. went on a date. <laughs> you, 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 but why would you? Are you plugging? You think Tarantino needs your plugs? No, 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 no. no Not I mean, a lot of people have seen it. I think. I think the joke was the the plot of the movie was about killing women, though, and it made it uncomfortable, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's why he brought up Death Proof. Right. No, oh, I don't. Bry's know. I mean, fuck yeah, Bry. Yeah, I don't know about that. I think so, he just wrote a script. Like you got, you got, like what T said. It's got to just be like eliminated into. Oh, okay. You just like read a fucking it like it was like a whole maybe a script writer I don't fucking know. Oh okay okay I get it. It was good though man. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> no, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. He's, he's, not, he's not making he's any sense. Right. He Hilarious. knows you're full of shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, Daniel. I stunned you, his you, ass on that one. What he was saying, what he was saying <laughs> is true. This is an actual point, man. This is an actual point to be made. Is that what you did was funny? You're a funny guy, and the words that are coming out of your mouth are funny. And sentence to sentence, it's funny, but it didn't feel like jokes. It didn't feel like stand-up comedy. So the audience oh, okay, didn't okay. respond in that way. Yeah, okay, if you have okay. to tell wow. the audience the plot of a fucking movie, just drop the bit altogether. If they don't even know the movie. What was the point? She started. I mean, well, I guess. Let me ask you this: yeah. Why would it even come up that you live with your brother? How did that come up during a movie? Were you guys well, talking during well, the movie? Well, I put that movie on, but we went into my room, and she was like, "Oh, there's bunk beds here." Oh, it was at and your she was like, place. Oh, you share rooms with your brother. Why did you go into like, the yeah, bedroom? What were you gonna do? Well, you... we we're gonna watch that movie there, and then you know, escalate See, things. You know, that's where like <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the comedic instinct comes <laughs> in. Like, yeah. expand on that, Chief. You're obsessed with the movie when the actual funny is in the bunk bed. The idea of bringing yeah. a girl over and there's bunk beds. That's like yeah. relatable. That's I mean, not to me, thank God. How'd you but, get... <laughs> but that's fucking funny. Even he'll fuck that premise up. You're wasting your time. But you're like, people need to know about death proof. How did you get, the, where'd you meet this girl? She was an old coworker of mine when I used to work at Crazy Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> See, like, you're not smiling at all right now when you say Crazy Chicken. You have a right. very straight face right now. And right. Does, that mean, can I, does that mean you don't think it's funny the way you just said when I used to work at Crazy Chicken? <laughs> we're just yeah. serious about it? <laughs> Honestly, like, I don't know if you know what's funny. I don't think, there's I don't parts think that, that are funny. funny. I just said it out loud. And so that's common to you, Crazy Chicken? Yeah, aka or do you mean Pollo Loco? Loco? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, That's what the El Pollo Locos are in Mexico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Pollo Loco, but I call it Crazy Chicken casually. You gotta talk yeah. about work in there, bro. That should be your first thing in ten minutes. I mean, you gotta have jokes about that <laughs> if you, you don't already. It, do you call it Crazy Chicken because you like so Trump won't find you? <laughs> You're like, I work at Crazy Chicken. He's like, you mean Pollo Loco? That's we're gonna hilarious. Find you. We're gonna. <laughs> So He's you, afraid the restaurant is going to get deported. <laughs> so what made you hit up this girl all of a sudden? You're just going through your contacts. You're like, hey, that's that girl from the crazy chicken. I haven't. No, no. She, we were coworkers at the time, and we would chat up, right, during work. Chat up. And she, she told me she was in, into Tarantino movies, right? So then I was like, oh, have you seen this one? And she was like, no. And then I told her, well, come over to my place. And, you know, I have it on DVD. Did you, you ever say, I it. like your thighs and breasts? <laughs> oh my god. So, no, not yet. So, has, she's been to your place before. Only that one night, yeah. Only that one night. Yeah. And, and let me get this right. So, you said earlier that you were going to watch it in the bedroom. That yeah. was the plan. Yeah. But you went there with her. Yeah. And she's like, what the fuck are these bunk beds? Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's where the whole thing starts. Yeah. I, and she was like, <laughs> I feel like Bro. during all the pussy eating talk, he was sincerely writing in a notebook. All right. Can you say that last part again? <laughs> Maybe not. Did you end up fucking her at, at, down the line? No, I didn't. Never got to. I, I didn't have any mattress at the time because we used to have bed bugs. But then, <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, you told her that. I didn't tell her that. I just told her, oh yeah, we're we're transitioning between mattresses, you know. So it just so happens we don't we don't have one right now. So if you had bed yeah, bugs, she was transitioning between wanting to fuck you. You had bed bugs, bunk mattresses. beds. Yeah, I guess. That's fucking. Yeah. If this was categories, you'd have so many points because of that. Oh yeah. I guess. That bug bunk beds. Dude, you're like Do you just have weird names for every tragedy in life? Fucking <laughs> bed bug transition. We call the Holocaust the oopsie Jew time. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. I mean, that is the most political. We are transitioning between mattresses right now in this rough time of need. <laughs> That's what I told her. It was all that true. Was, that, that bit was all true. Just 100% true or what? Yeah, it's all true. Yeah. Uh -huh. Just tell yeah. her your mattress identifies as a couch. <laughs> now I now I have a new job at Burger Monarchy and things are better. <laughs> Wait, why bro, would you take yeah. her? In, why would you take her into the bedroom with the bed bugs if you knew that the beds had bed bugs and there was no mattresses? What well, it's because I live with my parents and the only the only <laughs> privacy I could get anywhere was in that bedroom. So there was just a TV and you guys sat on the floor. No, we actually sat on the bottom bunk. And it wasn't comfortable, you know, so... Yeah, there's no God. mattress. So she, th from this story, I can tell she's clearly Latina as no, well. No, no, she, she's... This story is about street. an innocent woman who literally... Who literally walked into a red flag factory. Like a... 
the entire apartment was made of red flags. Like, she was okay with some of them. Oh, co-worker at Lo Pollo Loco. I'll let that slide. You're like, oh, you're, the transition between mattresses. Okay. Lives manual. with parents. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm better than this. Did you try to kiss her at any point? No, I was a little bitch at the time, you know? Oh, I yeah? Really well, 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 what would you do now if you were in that same situation, living with your brother, bunk beds, bed bugs? I you were a bitch at the time. What would you do now? How long ago is this? Uh, this was uh, maybe 2012, 2013. After the Dark Knight Rises. What would you do now? Um, I would eat her out, dude. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Eat that pussy. Yeah. Talk to the last guy. <laughs> he says these things with a straight face. He doesn't smile. I need her out. I guarantee. Well, it's the truth. It's the honest. It's the honest truth, dude. Dude, I guarantee you, Fuck she yeah, married the next person she went on a date with. <laughs> She's like, well, I know what else is out there. <laughs> I'm Bueno. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he had a mattress. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she was like, do you have a bed? Let's get together forever. <laughs> they're not bed bugs. They're sleep critters. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I don't have bed bugs anymore, so... For any of you girls who want to kick it or whatever, you know, I don't wow. have bed bugs. You know. <laughs> oh, wow. I still live with my parents, but it, it, it looks It's like, not an yeah. abortion. It's visiting the Hoover family. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you still live with your parents? Well, because it's tough being in, a in LA. And being you, in LA? Or where do you live? It's cheaper to live with uh -huh, them. Uh -huh. How old are you? Wait, it's I'm too much to live with You're 28. Family. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. I look fucking old or what? No, no, you look yeah. great, but that is oh, okay, old. Okay. I don't care. I know millennials are fucked up or fucked. The, Economically, but you got to get the fuck out of your parents' house, dude. I mean, I did for a little bit, but it was freaking hard, man. How, what, uh, what, what was your living situation when you got out of there? What was that like? I moved in with one of my old uh, classmates from middle school. Classmates? Yeah. Class for El Pollo Loco? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I moved in with him and his uh, wife, and they had, <laughs> they had a room. <laughs> oh, he lived. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, and get yeah. a few no, comics. Was, Live with a few fucking comics if you want to do this shit. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh, you can't Manuel, see if you're living with your parents. Manuel, you never read your parents' house. Dude. Manuel Herrera is uh, known on this show actually for uh, one popular thing. He, there's this one girl that lives in yeah. what, Virginia, just a normal old yeah. uh, dreadhead killer. Yeah, she's on Twitter, and sometimes Manuel just randomly roasts this poor innocent girl. She had just yeah. a normal girl. She has what is it? Uh, Five, a little over five thousand followers. Yeah, she's following seven hundred people, but she's sort of what would how would you describe her? Her tweets, well, sort of sexual, right? Yeah, they're sexual. But and you always respond. You always quote tweet what she says, and you respond continuously yeah. to just a normal girl. This is not a celebrity or anything like that. So I'm gonna read you uh, a tweet from him that I just found from forty minutes ago. Oh, <laughs> while the show was happening, you were sitting over there and you tweeted at her. Is this correct? Yeah. yeah. Is this you, or I just want to make sure yeah, nobody yeah, else me. is controlling your account? No, no, it's me. Yeah, yeah. While someone else was on stage, actually doing well on stage, when yeah. you should have been paying attention. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. She said. Uh, she said, waxed everything, got a tan, colored my hair, and bought new clothes. I'm ready for tomorrow! Exclamation point. And. You quote tweeted that and said, a hoe's got to look presentable. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you say that to her? Well, they got to look presentable. I don't know. Why can't yeah. you have that confidence anywhere else in life? <laughs> do, do you like a little bush? Do you like it shaved or trimmed? Is good. Trimmed? Uh, trimmed is ideal. It's yeah. a little, little one. Yeah. Uh, let me ask you a question. Uh, <laughs> uh, you. You retweeted a tweet that says, God is punishing Texas for voting for Donald Trump. Let us pray. That's what that says. What, why, do you, why did you retweet that? What in that, what in that uh, do you find it, that you believe in and endorse exactly? Well, just, One, let me re read it again. God is punishing Texas for voting for Donald Trump. Let us pray. Like, you remember what you were doing when you decided to retweet that? On your account? Uh, I, was pro I was probably taking a dumb skis. I don't know, dude. But, yeah. Um, okay. I hate that. Brian has a Donald Trump sound effect board thing that he can go to. It's so bad. So why did you, re you retweet it? Uh, man, you guys are putting me on the spot here. 
Do you Not believe that? Do you believe that God is punished? Do you believe that's how the world works? That no, God's no. like, you're voting for Trump? Everybody knows I'm a Democrat. <laughs> Can we just bring up the guy from Corpus Christi and make them fight? <laughs> <laughs> We've had enough brown on brown crime. All right, guys. It looks like he's got two ounces of denial right now. <laughs> we have people that are morally corrupt. We huh. He's a trollo. You really don't like Trump a lot, huh? <laughs> Are your parents? Uh, Mexico sends uh, its people. I don't know how to. We need like a special safe word or something. Heated for, right now. Three hints uh, should do it. Uh, so, hints. what's the closest you've gotten lately to getting laid, other than tweeting at people while it even oh, in a uh, showroom? Uh, well, I think the last time was probably back in July. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What happened? Yeah. Yeah. Did she jerk your chicken? <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, some older chick. She's married and what do you? Wow, what do you wow, do? Wow! 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 Oh. Wow! How much? Is your roommate's wow. wife? How much older is she? She's forty. Wow! Spaghetti Look at you. And sleaze ball over here. <laughs> yeah, man. What's well, the deal with their her relationship? Chef, remember? What's, what the, what's the deal with her and her husband? Like, what's she must have told you some shit? What's going down with that? Well. Oh man, dude. Manuel, was it the yeah, story? Her yeah, husband bro. is locked up and she uh, well, yeah. locked up uh -huh. let me And you're the guy you're the guy that's filling in for I a prisoner hope. right now? <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, I hope you he's fuck. doing fucking life for your fucking sake, homie, but Yeah, you getting that's out pretty soon much it right there. What's that? She's get he's getting out in a few years, what? Actually in a few days. Manuel. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> you're fucked. I swear <laughs> to God, dude. Well, <laughs> Maybe what that's his you, thing. you asked me that because in a few days. Guess what? Kidding. His favorite podcast is. Come on out. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's backstage in the green room. God damn it, man. And then he comes out and he's like, My whole family's from Texas, motherfucker. <laughs> Manuel, <laughs> Manuel, how do you feel about your last set? Well, I gotta work Ever. on it. I gotta work on it. Ever. I gotta work Manuel, on it. Manuel, uh, so do you know what he went to prison for? Uh, I want to say battery and assault, <laughs> something like that. I don't know. Uh -oh. uh, See, yeah, everyone goes assault and then battery. This guy's uh, an alt offender. He went battery life. then assault. <laughs> I mean, I don't know the order. I don't know. I just she Maybe. casually mentioned it to me. I wasn't gonna ask. The order the questions. was a two piece with a BRC and uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. and a cedar discount. <laughs> so did you tell her when your old man gets out, we're we're done, or you know? No, she still wants me to wow. put it in. Wow, 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 that's incredible. Yeah. Maybe he can get out, maybe it's a thing he can like watch you fuck or something, jack off or something. No, wow. I don't that? know about that. I don't know. All right, well. Jason, I love that. I didn't realize you were... <laughs> I'm trying to come here. I'm not getting paid, so... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize you booked uh, cuck videos or whatever you're I'm, doing. I'm, I'm genuinely curious. Cool. And you're from L.A.? You're from L.A.? Yeah, from cool. East L.A., yeah. From East L.A., cool, cool, cool. How many people are in your family? L.A. Five. Okay. Huh. What do your parents do? Uh, Support really open micers. <laughs> my mom is a stay-at-home wife. She babysits some kids, and my dad. Works. Yeah, you, right? <laughs> well, besides me, yeah. What's yeah. your like biggest plan that you have in your head right now to get out of that house? Uh, Stand-up comedy. Right now, I'm driving a forklift. No, no, <laughs> it can't be that. Come on, really? What do you think is yeah. gonna happen? In my immediate future, well, hopefully not get a chick pregnant. <laughs> Great answer. I don't really, yeah. Yeah. especially this chick. <laughs> I don't know. You could what, what you could do is you could get the uh, the chick pregnant that has the prisoner that's coming back, because you know they're gonna be fucking like crazy, and then he's gonna have to take care of your baby. Boom. Oh no. <laughs> oh <about that>. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> no. Welcome back to bad advice with. Uh, <laughs> Well, bro, how, can I ask one more question to you? Yeah, go ahead. Did uh, how did you meet her? Is in the in your hood or like? Uh, one of my coworkers. Uh, coworkers. Yeah. Said that she was a horny, horny Something fucking Something like wife. that. Yeah, yeah. Incredible. Yeah. And you went over and fucked her the first time? Probably. Pretty much. Thousand yeah. percent. Love it. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah. How many times did you hook up with her? Probably like four times. Wow. Yeah. Always yeah. at her place. Quattro. No. I'd go to a hotel and she'd meet me there. You go to a hotel? <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, I live with my parents. I'm going to hook up at my house. Uh, uh, why do you have a mattress okay. in there, you know? I thought she was where the bed bugs came from. <laughs> <laughs> Does she have kids? She have kids? Yeah, I think a 17-year-old thing. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Damn. Go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah. It sounds fucking fine. What hotel do you it. meet her at? The one across the street from my job that I can just wake <laughs> up in the morning and go to my job, you know? Really? That's yeah, efficient. Man. Motel Sace? 
Hotel, Hotel 4. Seis. Yeah. How much does the room saying. cost there? Eighty. dollars. Eighty dollars. Yeah. Wow. She, you pay every time. Yeah. You pay every time. I pay every time. Fuck yeah. Because right. I'm a gentleman. Fuck yeah. Yeah. The last thing people think about you is you're a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I got married. All right, Manuel. You were on last week. We've heard enough of you tonight. There he goes, Manuel right. Herrera. I He's on Manuel. Twitter. Winner Snake. Manny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's going on over there? I don't think this chef, the brunette chef, likes me very much. I never did. It, I don't know. Ever since Howard Stern started working in the kitchen, he's been very, very... <laughs> wow, that's a good Howard Stern wig. All right. Here we go. I pulled another name out. Jeff Fratchy? Fratchy? Oh, shit. Thank you. So this is what uh, Make-A-Wish Foundation feels like. Um, so uh, the other day I was eating pussy. <laughs> Just kidding. No, but uh, <laughs> I uh, I was get, well, growing up in a small town. There was no black people, so every had to, everybody had to call me like, "Hey, you're acting like you're black, or you're trying to be black." And I get it because you know the whole you know listen to hip hop and the hats to the back and you know slap hoes. I, I get that, but I don't I don't understand why it was never in a positive thing. Like, I did track. I ran fast. Like, you never said, you know, you're acting black, running fast. Like, I never understood that, you know? It was never in a positive sense is what I make, you know? But, uh, yeah, damn. I was thinking that was going to get a laugh. I tried hard. All right. I'll keep bombing. I'm going to keep doing this. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, damn. I tried. <laughs> Just lost my head. It was getting better, though, right? A little bit better? A little bit? A little bit on there? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I fucked this one up. <sighs> Thanks for the L. I'm out. I wonder what would have happened. I, do, I almost feel like we shouldn't have even have had the cat on that one. I just wanted to see what would have kept happening. Yeah. We're gonna talk it was like you or Jay and the audience was Silent Bob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mike motherfucking Lawrence. <laughs> Love it. Jeff, this is the first true. time I've ever seen someone bomb for one minute hard. I mean, you yeah. sell time, but that was like one minute straight bomb. Look, if you don't quit after that, just that's fucking good. Just keep <laughs> Jeff, keep it was pretty interesting. Uh, that's the first time I've ever heard somebody 35 seconds into their set truly ponder retirement. And then, <laughs> and then from that point on, just well, sort of, at one point, after just acknowledging, like, yep, not going good, not happening tonight, fucked this one up. At one point, you ended up going, I think it's coming back now. <laughs> While just acknowledging how bad it was going, you thought you started doing good, but you were just sort of acknowledging how, I mean, there was just nothing well, happening. Well, he spaced. You, did, you, you forgot spaced, your yeah. fucking, you forgot your next bit. I, I saw of course, it, of course. Yeah, no, I mean, that makes sense. But you, you, also yeah. did, you also did something that you've done before where it was really hard to understand what the fuck you were talking about. Okay. Like, you, you were like going, boom, 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 boom. What's the longest thing you've ever memorized? <laughs> uh, oh, where do I start? Come on, think. I want you to think of an answer. I want you the to use that are, fucking brain. Yeah, I could, I could, I could rap some Biggie. You know, I could do that. A little He's bit. like the he numbers on a tape measure. Have you ever had to memorize anything? No, I probably should say. You've that. never had to memorize anything. I mean, in jujitsu, that's a good example. Of having never. That's. I mean, as far as like vocals, no, I don't. And I'm just still trying is to practice. With fuck, paper? you know jujitsu. I gotta stop choice? making fun of how stupid he is. Tenth planet, bro. Man, you are so lucky. <laughs> You're so fucking lucky. If you didn't know jujitsu, <laughs> have you ever had to use jujitsu on somebody uh, off the mat? Uh, yeah, I do security, so I have to. You know. He just choked on stage. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Come on, bro. Joelberg. Come on, that's. Brilliant. Oh shit. No. That was brilliant. I've never he seen did. a comedian give himself a rim shot. Uh, that yeah. is a fucking well, that was first. brilliant. But listen, bro, 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 bro. And this is for every comic out here. It's you're gonna bomb. You're gonna bomb again. Okay, you know, yeah. you're gonna bomb for fucking twenty years if you if you do it. It's how you bomb. That was one of the ugliest fucking bombs I've ever seen, or in a long, long fucking time. You're so smiling. You you're that. smiling about this right now. Why? Why is that? Uh, just because it's fun. I guess it's good. Yeah. Got, I like it. Are you? Yeah. 
Are you doing mics? Because I know you wanted your first time to be on the show. Are you, is this like your fourth time? This now? is my fourth time. Oh, so you're fourth not time. doing yeah, mics. Yeah, yeah. Wait, why do you only perform on this show? I only get this day off. This is the only day I get Jeff, off. Jeff, so. that's a really bad idea. And that's kind of yes, I want. Yes, I want to yes. do more. I do. I, I you have to do, do more. Yeah, I want to. Yeah, I just I want to get my days off. Every fucking time. Every yeah, time. I don't want to know. And I'd rather weird. hear from someone who gives a shit about this. Like to be honest, I think he, gi- I think he gives a yeah. shit. I, oh, think, shit. I think you'd give a shit. You I don't f- think so. If this is the only Maybe the, he the fourth know. time you and he has to, to do it on no a one podcast, he doesn't give a shit. No one told him. You have to. If you want to do stand up, you have to get up mm-hmm. a lot more than you're getting up. Otherwise, yeah. forget it. Yeah. Separate from that, I want to know more about your creepy life. Uh, so, like, what are you doing those nights that you're not doing stand up? Like, you seem like a sort of. Uh, Side control. Side you have control. weird. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I, I compete in jiu-jitsu, so I do that twice a day. So that's mostly where my time goes. Choking the crazy chicken? Where do you work security at? Uh, blind Donkey. And uh, I live in Long Beach. What? what? Donkey? I live in Long Beach. It's called Blind Donkey. Blind BC. Donkey? Yeah. Huh. What kind of bar is that? Uh, it's a whiskey bar. Yeah, like peanuts on the ground? No. How really. long have you been working security there? Uh, one week. Just started. Just one week? Yeah. What did you do before that? Uh, I was working at European Wax Center. A what? European Wax Center. Where are you from? What is your accent? He was the lead Lisa, singer of Lisa every Lisa. band that opened for Nirvana. <laughs> what is that accent? Michigan. We talked about this. Michigan. We're, you're from Ohio, so that's why we... This that's is I what happens it. when you drink the water. <laughs> <laughs> help Flint. Hashtag help Flint. Let's go there. How long have you been in L.A.? Uh, this would be my fifth month. Fifth, fifth month? month? Yep. So how are you surviving? I, uh, just odd jobs. I, no, I'm just working, you know. <laughs> I, I, you go, I, you, I'm sorry. What did no. you do when you were back in Michigan? I haven't been there since I was 19. I, I'm from a small town, so I don't play. So where work. were you before you moved here? Uh, Honolulu. What were you doing in Honolulu? I was, uh, it's called Coso. It's, uh, I worked at a tattoo shop. A what? It's called Coso. It's I can't, you I, you're unbelievable. I uh, know. I've had I've literally had people that like visited America that day from like yeah. Israel and Iraq yeah. and like crazy place. We've had, we've had a lot of interesting characters on the Here's show. The, You're from Michigan and I can't understand half of the shit that's coming out of your mouth. He's been, he's punch drunk. Punch drunk. He's done it four fucking times. Here's the thing. You you <laughs> don't need stand up. There's there's people here who are the heirs to vacuum companies who yeah. have Nothing. You fucking lived in Hawaii. Yeah. You're a jujitsu security guard. Your life is fine. Just fucking go out, fuck a different girl every night, and yell scoochie boochies, and like just enjoy yourself. You don't need this. Like that's that's what I would say. I, you know. Do you love yeah. it already or no? Uh, no, I like it. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's now. Yeah. Much it's right. never you're really going to quit now. It's, or it's you never. Start I know the four times you've been on because I've been hosting the show all four <laughs> times that you've been on. Yeah. It's never gone well for you. I felt this time it went better just because I'm talking more. What the? Yeah. Fuck? Other, than the, other than the forgetting <laughs> yeah. part. Well, you're like, honest. You know, no, I'm, I mean, I'm more stage time. Just so trying. this was, you would say this was the best out of the four? No, it's not more stage time, bro. It, okay. you, lo- you lose, it doesn't count. The first time doesn't count. Cause you're I got you. You got to keep getting up. Do so. other places. And, yeah. You have to do other places. Do other places. Come back after you do other places. I, I and got, after you learn how to enunciate all of your words properly. Honestly, I think. There I, should I, be separation between each word. Uh-huh. Yeah, take the imaginary cops out of your mouth, and then we'll be able to hear you fine. Uh, I think I, oh, I, 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 well, the first dude did it for six fucking years. He's been doing it six years, probably you know three, four yeah, times a week. So, it's a long I, I road. I'm not. Credit. I'm not in a hurry. So I'm gonna no, keep I give you credit. It takes a lot of fucking balls to come up and do this. This is like a fucking big show now. Yep. You get up and do it. So that's cool. But. <laughs> Jason, yeah. Jason I, is live daydreaming during the show here tonight. Uh, you know. <laughs> It's just going to be interesting to where all these fucking dudes end up. You know I, mean? I love it. Oh, we know where he's going to end up. <laughs> <laughs> the blind donkey. Uh, <laughs> but, but him like, the Starbucks. <laughs> him getting up on this show is like watching like an old woman w- win a jet ski on Price is Right. It's like, we don't need to see that. Yeah, <laughs> That's never for gonna no use one. It. There he goes, everybody. Jeff Frechie. Fuck yeah, buddy. Yeah. Long Beach. Go, go. Go, 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 go. go. Hey, we have a regular on this show that does uh, and performs a brand new every single week, a brand new 60 seconds. She just uh, did a spot uh, with me in San Francisco. She was up there, did a little guest spot with Jeremiah and I in San Fran at Cobbs from the Monster Energy Outbreak Tour, and she absolutely killed. 
I love it. Put your hands together. It's a new minute from the great Ali Makovsky, everyone. Hi. Um, I guess I look like porn stars now because of my haircut. Uh, people keep sending me screenshots of different porn stars with the same haircut as me, which is weird because I know exactly when they're jacking off. And now I'm, I'm watching porn. I want to know about these girls I look like. And it's kind of bothering me because they always have such a nice face of makeup on when they start. And then when they finish, it still looks perfect. But the worst part is that they act like they've never seen a dick before. Like this one is about to change their life. Like, what do I do with it? I'm like, do what you did in the last 20 films. And then they act like it's going to be so big, like they're in so much pain. And their pain face is all the same, and it never looks like mine. Like if someone just grabs my arm a little bit harder than normal, my face is like this. I'm just like, fuck! And when they're in pain, they have a face that looks like they're sucking a smoothie out of a straw that's too small. They're just like, mmm. <laughs> Yep, Ali McCoskey. Yeah, you gotta get to that part. You gotta get to that part quicker. I do, yeah. That's Sometimes you just try, you never know if it's gonna be a full minute and you try and squeeze as much in as possible. And like then in the other one, the um, porn stars. Uh, <laughs> where they say uh, they always pretend like they, do they always look like they don't know? Yeah, they're always like, <sighs> Like, wow. So I, I always fast forward past that part. Uh, yeah, yeah. Who I that like part? the whole story. I, I like the I never arc. really see when they're pulling the dick out. I watch the stories. It's the only part that's different from the other porn. Of, 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 it's <laughs> the only unique part of a porn. Of course you watch the stories, Mike. You don't drink or smoke. We've talked about this throughout the show. Yeah. <laughs> Killing time there, Mike. Killing time. <laughs> oh, those awful sober people. <laughs> get some apple juice and look at the story of a porn. <laughs> oh, Lord. Frank Miller presents Brazzers. <laughs> so is that true? You've really been uh, watching porn? No. Oh. I mean, I watch it sometimes, but it's like I don't need it. You know? It's just like if I, if I really am bored and have like no, uh, no imagination, I'll be like, let's see what they're doing these days. So you draw your porn or? No, I watch it. <laughs> Now that seems normal for a woman. I would say I've lived with a woman over 20 years. I would say Good that's probably a normal. No, it's not a brag. I'm saying that's about a normal consumption of porn for a woman. Like, yeah, we don't need women, it. Yeah, yeah, they don't. We so. don't need it. But you know, what's your favorite sexy. kind that you found though? Um, my favorite. Ki I mean, I guess I just like lesbian. Fuck yeah, <laughs> Ele too. elephant porn. It seems yeah. according to Brian. Huge <laughs> elephant. Huge hogs. That's another like wo woman thing, right? Like women love. The lesbian, they want nothing yeah. to do with us. Well, because lesbians know how to eat each other out. So yeah. you're like, that's what it looks like. Wow. Oh. wow. You're right. I think, I, do you think most women, uh, I think most women think it's sexy to watch another woman make another woman come. Yeah. Like, it's just more sensitive. Uh huh, uh huh. You know? You're 100% heterosexual. Cut right? to like. I, I wouldn't say 100%, okay, cool, but cool. for the most part, yeah, I, yeah, cool. I'm more into the dicks than not. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Also, it is it's really cool. Normal. Yeah, I agree. Thank with you. you I so said much. hi to you the other night, love. I didn't know. I know. Yeah, I love it. I said last, maybe last time. Yeah, we cool. said hi, but we've That's never cool. really talked. Uh, now, what yeah, else has been it. going on in life, Ali McCoskey? What else has been going on? Um, I don't know. San Francisco was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. What else did you do there? I. Uh, what else did I do? Oh, I slept in my car for a long time, just because I needed a nap. And what does um, that mean? A long time. Like I just I just snoozed and I didn't set an alarm. And I don't know how long it was, so, but I woke up like But you said a long time like it was some like Rip Van Winkle shit or something like that. Yeah. Is that the right that reference? Beard. Wait, I don't think it was Rip Van who slept under that tree. Is that him? Yeah. I don't, I don't get know. it. He okay. woke up with a beard. You're right, Tony. Don't question yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Ali, I think you have like uh, you obviously uh, friends with Tony and been on the show a lot, but you have an amazing delivery, like an incredible Thank you. whole thing. Yeah, Great delivery. I agree. Natural. Yeah. 
for a thousand percent. I agree. Yeah. That's what kind of keeps great. it going, you know. I love it. I love no, it. It's, it's the great. delivery. Yeah. Well, it's the first set in like the last five sets that like did the whole minute, so that helps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Probably yeah, it's sort of There's just the uh, it's simple, and with the experience that you keep getting, you're gonna keep realizing that you know you, I, my, it's the same sort of like diagnosis. It's like you know just trim a little bit of the fat and go a little bit slower. Yeah, and that's all one killer minute again yeah. and again and again. There she goes, the great Ali Mikofsky, ladies great and gentlemen. Allie. Another new minute every single week. A great addition. All you pick. How do you pick these? Because yeah, I think you nail them all. You have to be like born <laughs> into it. It's Game of Thrones shit. <laughs> Good to see you, guys. You guys having fun out there? You ready to go back to the bucket? Meet someone? Meet a new human Make being? Someone a star. Maybe it's a crazy person. Maybe it's someone we've never seen before. Put your hands together for Michael Pena. Yes, Hi everybody, happy Labor Day. <laughs> Labor Day is an awesome time of the year when the seasons change. In some cities it changes more than others. For example, in Seattle, they act like zombies and they scream, it's football season! Here in LA, I'd be driving around on Lyft and we, I was talking to a guy about football season. He says, oh great, great, how's football season? He goes, great. I said, so um, have you watched any bowl games lately? And he goes, oh yeah, I watched a few bowl games. And I said, oh, good, good. He goes, which one? He goes, the Hollywood Bowl. I said, oh, really, the Hollywood Bowl? I said, well, that's great. And he goes, so I says, well, what was the score? Because I thought I was going to hear something about college football. And he says, oh, Lady Gaga was awesome. Except, you know, she's not as good as she used to be. And I thought, oh, I was talking about football, not Lady Gaga. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> LA is a pretty strange place where they have actually have seasons in football elsewhere. Anyways, you should be up. <laughs> it's exactly a minute. Wow. I'm pretty sure the one thing you nailed during that set was the exact time. Exactly. I timed it perfectly. <laughs> that anyways, you let all the tension out of a balloon that you built and the joke did not work, but well, you had a segue and it was beautiful. I stuck with it. <laughs> yeah, you definitely stayed committed. Out of all the gay straight men on stage tonight, I think uh, you may have been one of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, how did that? What was the beginning again? I could tell that you had it well, well rehearsed. It's, was it August is a special time? No, no, Labor Day. Labor Day. And most, you said most Labor Day is a special time in which <laughs> you got a big pop on that from the few well, people that know, like when bad shit's coming. Because we knew. Tony. Yeah. Tony, I have a question. Yeah. Oh, all right. I see. I see a notebook in your. Yeah, it's a massive, oh, massive, and massive joke book. If there's jokes would, for each if you holiday. Would honor us there. by reading a uh, reading a selection from the notebook yeah. in your pocket all right. right now. See what's sure. going on in there. Yeah, I agree. Wow, glasses on. The book comes right out. This almost seems like coordinated. Pat, is this your dad or something? Father, I'd like you to read some more selections. It's good. All right, son. Pat, Pat. It's going to start with Arbor Day is a wonderful holiday. <laughs> <laughs> National Secretary's Day. It's beautiful. Okay. This, is a this is a selection I wrote uh, before defending Stephen Avery and his... Uh, well, you're going to be disappointed there's no jokes really in here. Yeah, we but know actually, that. We <laughs> saw your 60 seconds. We, we want to hear some of your wacky segues. Yeah, we saw the trailer. We know what's in the movie. Do you have any more of those like, anyways, or anything like that in there? Well, a lot of stuff is here about it's the all my meetings with all my staff. Oh, yeah. What do you do again? Yeah. I write software. You write software? Just start reading. He has that page. streaming okay. app. That's Just start reading. On that page you were on. That's good. That's good. Yeah, metadata. 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 Yeah. Single okay. record. Okay, Director, so another producer, page. executive producer. Go to another. Okay. Go to yeah, another. that doesn't have much writing on it. Switch to a page. Oh, with here, can, can I go through your notebook? And can I go through your notebook? I'm Sure, go for it. I have a very good selective eye here. Why are they? Jews will not replace us. <laughs> How many of you watched the fight this weekend? Can I read this one? Sure, go How for many it. of you watched the fight this weekend? Yeah, I watched it too. 
And I do have to say, I think <laughs> booing is losing. Am I reading that right? <laughs> I think, what? Booing is losing? McGregor is losing. Oh, and I think McGregor is losing. It, it's sh sh space as a manly sport and is being replaced by the provenness, pro prowess, <laughs> prowess of prowess. two men with stimpy short roll. Here, will you read it? Wait a second. <laughs> I, I, wait, I, wait, I, wait. I, I can, wait. All work and no play <laughs> makes Michael a dull boy. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I can read this through? Okay, yeah, I don't care. And as a gay man, I am always a little confused. It actually says that. I sit here watching two men roll and sweat, grasping for one, wanting the other to tap the other out. I don't think you know how boxing works. By the way, Tony. Michael is so gay that he was waiting for somebody to tap out in that boxing match. How crazy is that? Tony, can you read it slower and in French, please? Here I am. I'm not even making any of this up, by the way. Here I am waiting for the other to tap the other out. I mean, every time I watch these cannibal, joyous events, the $1 bills in my pocket just want to rip out and say, more, 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 do some more. That's funny. Oh, shit. Joel's about to let you eat his butt. Oh, wow, he really oh, did. Damn. You're very quick with your props. How did he have a dollar ready? I was saving it for you. That software just became hardware. Oh. <laughs> my fingers are fidgeting in my pockets, pulsing, waiting for just that moment. Like, are you sure I can read this? <laughs> he has two teaspoons of semen in his pants. <laughs> I lose control of the extraordinary... I see in front of me, and so that's when... Man, you're lucky you have bad handwriting. <laughs> I just wrote a new chunk on Labor Day. It's going to fucking kill. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> so, Michael, uh, we've, talked to, we've talked to you before, right? Sure, we found yeah. out that you're gay. You work at... Uh, There's a new a software program coming right. out that's that, like a streaming platform. Call like, Space. Call right. Space. Right. What, what else is going on in life since the last uh, time we saw you? Nothing much, actually. Just been working a lot and yeah. concentrating on getting that out the door. Yeah. You're Mexican? I'm uh, Mexican. Yeah, my mom gave me some new jokes. <laughs> Shout out to three Mexicans tonight. We had a... All right. <laughs> Viva la raza. <laughs> what, do you do for, uh, what do you do for fun when you're not doing stand-up or working? Um, I drive for Lyft when I get bored sometimes. Oh, really? So that's a true story, actually. I believe what, what happened it. Why would you lie about that? I, I wouldn't. I, just like <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> It, it, he actually started talking about Lady Gaga, and I looked, when he got out of the car, I was wanting to make sure he wasn't gay or anything. I was like, okay, was he gay? But he wasn't. What did he say about Lady Gaga? Well, that's, what he, that's the only Hollywood Bowl game he went and saw. Get it? Hollywood Bowl. Football. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so he's oh, not a football city. <laughs> no, 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 no. We all oh, know yeah. why it's bad. 100% <laughs> of the people know why it's bad. I'm just bad. going to whisk that joke away. It's okay. not a thing that we don't get it. That's fine. Hmm. Have you been doing spots other places? I've been trying to go, but I haven't gotten up. Have you been getting lady ha-has anywhere? No, no, no. Not at all. <laughs> go, on any, <laughs> go on any dates lately? No, I haven't been on any dates yet. No, but you know what? Four weeks ago when I saw the four models up here, I was wishing I was here to give them some Wow. Oh. Are you talking about the band? Uh, Damn. Yeah. And yeah. then three weeks if ago. If you can't handle the heat, get out of the kitchen, boys. <laughs> Oh, shit. I think you're about to get a And I brought this special dollar for this one. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Michael just wow. got dirty with Jeremiah. Did you guys see that over Isn't here? You guys had a good angle at it. <laughs> He's like a cat when you're tapping a cat on its butt. He's like, Arr. Michael, if you had to pick one of these uh, bandmates, to, uh, which one would be the first one you would uh, take down? Well, I am Mexican, so I need to stick with the Mexicans. Oh. <laughs> hey, Michael, do you know how to play the drums? <laughs> the wrong kind of drum. <laughs> what did he Look say? at these two crazy chickens up here. 
<laughs> so oh, I have Pollo done Homo. I haven't done something in. <laughs> Did you say El Pollo <laughs> Homo? El Pollo Homo. We'll fuck you stuff. real good. <laughs> <laughs> I have done something in the last 14 days. What? I have done something in the last 14 days. I started this new diet by uh, Nordatrack, and I've lost 14 pounds in 14 days. Oh. oh. You suck, you suck the Nordic number. Track's dick? For 14 pounds weight loss, any day of the any oh. year. Is that true? You really went with the Nordic Track? Yeah. My yeah. goodness. <laughs> you were just watching an old 90s television show. And get in shape, girl. <laughs> no, they put us, they, this casting call, I went to it, and they picked me. And I've seen that porn. Yeah. Yeah. See you too. Oh, so they gave you one. Well, they well, there's like 60 of us, and so far, I've lost the most weight. Wow. It's called AIDS. You are dying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask luckily, that luckily, I missed that ship. <laughs> I Is feel that... like you played Selena Gomez's dad on a sitcom at some point. <laughs> You're not supposed to know that. When you say you, <laughs> when you say you missed that ship, what do you mean exactly? Because you came out after. All of that? No, I came what? out during and I just got lucky. A lot of my friends died of AIDS, but I didn't. Right. Yeah. Right. How I was pretty you? lucky. Jesus How old are you? Christ. Christ. I, I, I did, he chose the nobler way of <laughs> no. He chose the nobler way of dying I was on stage. I was foolish like everybody else. I just got lucky. Wow. It's a hard time. Yeah, a lot of my friends. Rock died. hard. <laughs> uh. <laughs> You're so you are the funniest twelve year old in the universe. He's so fucking likable, this guy. Yeah, you really are. You're the, you're everybody's favorite. I don't uh, have any more dollars, my friend. <laughs> oh shit! What no, kind I of just are you? In, are you into like hairy bear, bear like guys, or are you into more like twinky fellas? Well, I'm old enough now that I, they call me daddy, and that kind of bothers me. Jesus, because uh, I used to be a twink. <laughs> Jason is like, <laughs> show's really changed a lot to you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you something, homie. Is did when you you know uh, coming from Hispanic parents, mm. were you uh, were you yeah? Did you have trouble? Did, you, up, did like you have trouble coming out of the closet because there was you, bunk too. beds blocking it? <laughs> <laughs> well, we had bunk beds, but I was a good enough negotiator to get the room to myself. So, but you were but, straight as a teenager, or not straight, no, no. but like. Well, I was. You know, know, I didn't know I was gay. I didn't know I was gay until I was nineteen. I was like I said before, I was a gymnast. What happened? Well, that's what I mean. It's like, oh, you were nineteen. Yeah. You were already a gymnast? Oh, I came out. No, no, I came out he when I was 19. He didn't fucking myself. know. Look, he was. that's amazing. Until, you know what? But yeah. to answer your question. Well, what, what was the moment, though? You're doing gymnastic <laughs> stuff and what? You just grab no, this is You're on moment. that bar hey, spinning I'll be around. With you. I'm going to tell you what happened. And all of a sudden you see what, so, no, a, a I rainbow? Used date, I used to date these girls, and they all had really big boobs. Damn, two really of them. Big huh? what, what cup uh, size? At <laughs> triple D's, triple D's. And I never wanted to touch them. What the fuck? Uh -huh. Yeah. You, you what? I never wanted to touch them. <laughs> oh, and my because God. Because I said I wouldn't touch them until I got married. And uh, I, my, everybody, all my friends, teammates would be saying, that's this is crazy. And you told somebody that, like somebody that you know, you're like, I'm not into boobs. And they're like. No, I didn't say that. Uh, what I said was I didn't notice that they had big boobs. They'd be like, why isn't he motorboating me? And then they realize how beautiful so, their fingernails are. So for, I feel so bad for you. So no, a lot no, of the no, ladies were, were a lot of the ladies were upset. In fact, one of them actually had a boob reduction trying to get me to. What the? Wow. Yeah, you're really the sad. you're the only Mexican I've ever known that doesn't love motorboating. Because <laughs> that's you, how they. You get haven't met a gay one. <laughs> anyway, dude, that's how cold it is, man. That's how you play it. Like the okay, what? I got some thoughts, but <laughs> no, no. <laughs> What was your first time? You, what was your first time hooking up with a guy like? What, how'd that go down? <laughs> <laughs> well, tell me. Actually, it was a fellow athlete. What? Wait, Say that again. It's a fellow. It was a fellow athlete. And uh, it was in the 80s. And, uh, a fellow athlete? When you say athlete, you're still talking about gymnastics. Here. No, 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 no. Uh, he was actually. <laughs> I don't even think they was, have uh, a whistle in gymnastics. He was actually a sprinter at U of A. Ooh. And uh, he was. A, he was on the dance floor and he had these like speedos. Was he know, running back and forth? Cool. No, he was just standing there with speedos and had these long legs. And I you knew like, he was gay immediately. Oh, obvious. I was in a gay bar. Oh yeah. shit! All right. <laughs> 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 so that was a big hint. How okay. old are you? How, how old are you now? Like twenty-one? I was twenty-one, turning twenty-two. Yeah. I didn't come out till after I competed gymnastics. Oh, and what was your event in the gymnast? The rings. No, floor exercise and parallel bars was my specialty. Can you still do any? I think competing in gymnastics is coming out. 
<laughs> That's what you said last time. <laughs> I was Some telling you before. There's not a lot of gay guys in gymnastics. But you waited to come out until after gymnastics. After gymnastics. So you went straight from the parallel bars to the gay bars. Uh, yes. <laughs> kind of kind of halfway between. <laughs> I guess you didn't go straight anyway. I went but... right to the dance floor though. That's for sure. Yeah? yeah. What's like what's your first move on the dance floor? You know gymnastics, the floor routine. You know how to do you still ever do somersaults just for yes, I do. shits and giggles? Yes, I do. Mostly probably for shits. More, from you. more for shoots. <laughs> I don't <laughs> even results. know what that means. But <laughs> <laughs> well, people have asked me for like different shows to do backflips, so I've done backflips. You have? Yeah, you sure. can do a backflip? Sure. Wow. No, not here. I'm gonna get a hurt. Yeah, I have right. a shoot tomorrow, so I can't do it today. Oh. What, do, what are you shooting? Um, I'm gonna be back. doing some documentary. Yeah. And um, I'm the guy who's doing it. Anyway, they want me to show me my faces. I don't know why. What's the uh, What's the weirdest thing you've ever had in your butt? A gerbil? No, just joking. <laughs> <laughs> what the uh, fuck was that? Right. Have you always that had that dubstep sound that's effect that's just waiting just for, <laughs> for gerbil sex? Are you, no, are no. You, I, I'm not really into butt sex. You know. He's, he's what? what we call in the Mexican community a Danny Trejo. Oh, yes, thank you. Uh, 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 <laughs> still here, you it's fuck. Trejo for Did us. other people know you were gay? Your friends told you later they knew you were gay when you did? No, because nobody thought I was gay. Really? Because, really? Because I was, you know, I was like 4% body fat, and I was pretty uh -huh. funny and fun, and uh -huh. I was just outgoing. And, and I, I heard George You mean Michael. gay traits? Those are all gay traits? <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> Bro, I would just throw glitter in the air and go, hello, and nobody <laughs> knew. No one knew. They didn't know you were, when you were like a kid growing up, you didn't play like well, suck the tail on the donkey or anything <laughs> like that? Funny story about that. Funny story about that. When I was a kid, my mom was driving down the road, and I had just priorly got to that. We had went to this amusement park with two guys that were like teenage kids that I knew, and I was like seven. So we picked up, my mom picked up two drag queens on the street, and I looked at these two drag queens, and they're like, hey, Agnes, how it's doing? What's doing? And he goes, hey, mijo, que que poso? And I'm like, don't call me mijo. You girls, I don't know you. And then they sat next to me, and I realized they were little, those, those were the guys that I had went to the amusement park where dressed in drag. Wait, what? They, they were the guys. Whoa, 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 sorry, but not this kind of. <laughs> Wait, what happened? They were the guys that were dressed, that I t had taken me to the amusement park, now in drag. So my mom had picked them up. So the funny thing was my mom took them where they went, and my Older brother, who was 16, starts. He, we dropped him off. And my brother starts um, yelling at them about, "Don't let! Why'd you pick up those drag queens? Those are weirdos." She goes, "Well, those boys will, if they'll, they'll kick anybody's ass if they mess with you in the alley, with their pumps on or not. So you leave them alone. Don't cool. ever do that That's again." Cool. And she kicked him out of the car, and made him walk that's home. That's cool. That's fucking super cool. Yeah. My mom doesn't mess that's around. Wow, that. that's so awesome. But I didn't think that would so be okay for me to come out. She's obviously cool with fucking you. Well, fucking it wasn't at first. No, it was harsh. It was harsh. She she basically sat me down and she started crying. Is why are you gay? And she's, I said, Catholic, she's very religious. Catholic. Catholic. And, she, sure, and I yeah. just said, well, mom, you know, just like you like to sleep with men, I like to sleep with men too. So I don't know. Uh huh. Ah. That's like just I what I said, it. and she just. Uh -huh. What'd she say to that? She Oregano! <laughs> Can I ask you something you might know and I don't sure. know? Uh, sure. What percentage of gay men don't know they're gay? Because I, I, I assume that everyone knows they're gay from an early age, but like I heard George Michael in an interview say that he didn't know probably the same fucking age you were at, which well, stunned me, but... Well, the 80s were a funny time because uh -huh. when you came out in the 80s... When you uh, say 80s, are you talking like... <laughs> 1980, right. <laughs> not 2080. The 80s are a funny time because it was really cool to be um, gay in the 80s. So a lot of people came out, but that doesn't mean that necessarily you thought you were gay. And I think a lot of people in our age kind of, kind of knew and it was acceptable. Uh -huh. But as we got older, we start realizing, especially when AIDS came out, that maybe gay isn't what good. What is being gay? Do you like eat poop or? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's no different than when you no no seriously that's an honest question because it's no different than when you eat when you eat vagina and you go too low okay so it's the same thing it's just that what happens though is sometimes it happens it's a guy unfortunately <laughs> that's, that's before that he that's instead that's of going too low yeah. you just stay Number right one. there <laughs> sometimes it's extra lube you know you never know. <laughs> Michael, I love you, man. You're so likable, so easy Sorry. to talk to, so brutally honest. good on for people to hear, too. Do you like what? fucking baby bisexual people or whatever, fucking gay people? Well, I, I don't believe cool. him. Yeah. I think it's cool that 
kids now come out early, fucking, you know. They're very lucky. They're yeah, very they're lucky. very fucking lucky. Yeah. So, I don't okay. understand why they have this high suicide rate still, but they're very lucky. Because of people like you gaying the way for them all the while. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just painting the streets. I'm the less gay person I know, uh -huh. to be honest with you. Really? I mean, I go to West Hollywood and I get scared, okay? <laughs> seriously, seriously. Do you think you can talk uh -huh. some of those people that were in the closet, deeply in the closet earlier in the show on? Like, out talk, of the talk them on? <laughs> you could think, oh. Can you talk them out of the closet? No, I, could tell, I could tell that they weren't gay right away. My gay daughter was like, eh. eh. Not gay. No, Ooh. not gay. Right. But this guy. Whoa. Oh, I mean, I mean, I <laughs> <laughs> hey, Damn. did you see him with the guitar? I did. I did. I was standing right there. <laughs> He's on fire now, too. You bombed the first time. Michael Pena, ladies and Fuck gentlemen. Yeah. There he goes. I think I believe it's Pena. Michael Pena. sensitive. Michael Pena. Column space. Michael Pena. Love the band. Everyone. Love the Fuck yeah. Band. Should we go to the yeah. Should we go to the bucket one more time, guys? I don't know. I don't know if you guys. I'll ask one more time. You guys want to go to the bucket one more time? All right. Fuck yeah, let's do it. We're already here. We might as well just do it one more time. All right, this looks like could be a new name. Put your hands together for Kenny Brown. Fuck yeah, Kenny. Kenny Brown? Here he comes. Kenny Brown, everybody, come on. My parents are, uh, they're celebrating 30 years of marriage. Uh, they're not here. That's weird. Uh, 30 years of marriage, they, they get a lot of questions. How do you do it? Communication, other marriage stuff. I only have one question, it was from my mom. How many times my dad made you come? Jesus. Tell me. Oh my God. I uh, I microdose ecstasy, and I uh, I smoke a lot of weed. So that means, after doing that, I never need weed again. I'm done. Who molested you? <laughs> oh. Round of applause for this fuck guy's done. That's fuck it. Fuck yeah, that's fuck it. Yeah. Oh. I guess that's it. <laughs> No one, no one. No one. Nobody else. No one. No, 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 no. Yeah. That's amazing. Kenny Brown. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> How's it going? It's going pretty good. You remind me if we put Keenan and Kel in a blender together and just. <laughs> what would it be? It'd be Kenny Brown. It's like Kenny Black. <laughs> Where are you from, Kenny? Long Beach. Long Beach. Born and raised. Born and raised. On the playground is where you spent most of your days. All right. What do you do for work? Uh, work security for an Asian food company. An Asian food company? Like, <laughs> like a restaurant? No, just uh, like they have bulks of rice warehouse. and uh, warehouse dirt. Yeah. And much. you just work security outside of the I rice just, place? Yep, just stand outside. No more, no more Mr. Rice guy. <laughs> So stupid. You're you're not a gangster. You're more of a MSG. Ah. You should ask the Asian food company to help you work on your delivery. <laughs> you ever get your phone wet while at work, and you're just like, "This is amazing." It was that first joke. We, I think the whole room, we were like, this is going to be fucking great. And then it was just about come. And we we're like, it was a fun was you know, mom's was come. Yeah, no, my dad's come. Your dad's yeah, my, come. No, my mom's come. Yeah. But well, that was the point. Both of them come sorry. together. That's strange. Now, uh, uh, I like bad jokes from a feminist perspective. So, congratulations. Was well, that true? Is that true? Like, did, did I ask my mom that? No. Uh -huh. no. Okay. It's not, okay. Well. I have one more Asian joke. Oh, well, you really set it up cleanly yeah. there. Yeah, you're like a uh, Gucci Chow Main. Ah, oh. all Thank right. You. All right, I'll take yeah, it. Talk about you fucking, not your like parents and shit. You like to fuck too, right? It's like, talk about... I do, but I don't fuck, so... You don't fuck? Sadly, no. What Can do you, you mean expound you, on that? What do you too? mean you don't fuck? 
I haven't fucked in a while. Why, not, why, but why is that? I make love. Why is it? <laughs> sometimes. I don't think it's by choice, I'm guessing. <laughs> Is it by choice or is it a personal like fucking? No, no, just uh, no one's interested, I guess. Really? Like, come what do you what do you do bro, for fun? On. What do you do in social so, settings? Where do you, how do you I, put yourself in position to get laid? I uh, go out and I stand around, hopefully. <laughs> Why you stand around? <laughs> hopefully, getting laid by uh, pretty well, white women who would. Uh, look, okay. White oh, pussy. Okay. White pussy. Well, well, I mean, if you're if you're starting with white women, then maybe that's your problem. No. Maybe, you need, maybe, you need to, maybe you need to build up your confidence with the black ladies first, and then, uh, and then when you finally think you're ready to uh, step up to the plate and be with, you know, that's a all white I've, woman. That's all I've had sex with. That's all every, I've had sex with. Uh, My every day when he talks her out, off. he's like, the warehouse is secure now, but Kenny <laughs> isn't. <laughs> well, dude, a lot of people get laid from work. You're solo, so I'd just quit that fucking job. Go to a bar. I got another Asian you know. joke. You have another Asian joke? Yeah, yeah. Maybe the girl you need to look for is a Jack A. Chan. Wow. <laughs> oh, God. You're on a you're on a real egg roll back there. Uh, <laughs> Chinese joke making chef. You are movie guy pandering with this crap. <laughs> <laughs> pandering Express. <laughs> Bro. Get a hooker. Hey my my, my need, chef you need to get pussy. Hey my chef here is feeling iry. What's going on? I everything I read. Huh. Have All you right. thought about going to Tijuana? Get, don't have money for Tijuana? that. What? Don't have money for that? Don't have money for that. What's the craziest thing that's ever happened at the rice place? Someone set a fire outside. Like just last week someone set a fire. I don't know if it was someone flicking a cigarette out, but there there was just a fire outside. It was fireworks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a like a just a random bushfire. How close so, was your hat to the fire? Is that why it got warped? <laughs> <laughs> it, just, it just seems like it's interesting that the Asians, I mean, with their expertise in karate, would pick you as their security guard. Like, why do you, th why do you think they picked you? Uh, uh, it's, a, it's by a company, so I was just chosen by the company to go oh. there. I like, you were chosen? They wow. Were chosen. I, mean, I didn't... A chosen one. Like, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you know who owns the building? It's probably... We are put your name in a the bucket. Uh, yeah, the Asians own the building. Don't, don't look at the fire. We pull your name out of the rookie cat. He looks like a California raisin that was kicked out of the band. <laughs> <laughs> You're chosen one now. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I had another joke. I didn't. I just remembered it. Oh, wait. It was about porn, so. Oh, well, I mean, wow, what yeah, a sorry. surprise. You wanted to make I a think he's asking to do the bit. I don't know if you're going to let him do it. Do you want to do it? Go ahead. A lot of pressure now if you fuck. I mean, you're the one that set it up. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't ask you. <laughs> Shit. Now you you're just spaced oh, it, yeah. man. Oh, oh, yeah. Are you sure? Did, did, did you say you work security or insecurity? <laughs> well, he couldn't do it. It was too low, man. Wow. That's. I like him and Michael Pena, two experts on ramen. Hey, I like that. Very good. If some shit went down to your job, you're not going to do jack shit in Long Beach, right? Yeah, yeah, oh. fucking scary. These guys just chill, yeah. Because it's a bunch it's of Asians making fun of me, then a bunch of Mexicans making fun of me all day. So. Yeah, yeah. Are there, the only black are there, there other <laughs> black guys that work nope. for these Chinese? Oh, is there like a wonton clan or something no. like that? <laughs> What? That's the one that, that gets a grown a wa Wu Tang nope. Clan Wonton Clan. Fantastic. Fuck you guys. <laughs> you wait till. But the it's day an Asian end. pun on something that's already Asian. He's scared because he's so easy to take out. <laughs> Joel when you Bart. shoot him, you got to use all thirty-six chambers. All right. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Your last, your last Shame date. You say it. you're not getting laid well. Like, what? The last date. What was? Who was that with? It was with my ex. Uh, yeah. What'd you guys do? She came over, and uh, she noticed that you had bed bugs on your bunk beds. <laughs> we don't have. I'm an only child. Oh really? Yeah. You still live with your parents? I do. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, Aphrodite's here, ladies and gentlemen. That's the real Aphrodite. Come on. Look for the black Dude, mass in the middle of the room. All these guys get no pussy. You live with your fucking parents. I'm Dude, we've had broke. so many you different. Fucking broke. Dude. We've we've had like did, like fucking on. the rainbow of loneliness tonight. Like it's true. Just a fucking plethora of different ethnicities of sad, broken just, men. Holy just shit. brown and yellow. That's it. I like that the 400-pound guy was the only one in a secure relationship. What the fuck? <laughs> of course it's secure. Nobody's moving him from that spot. <laughs> he has confidence in his food pyramid. What does he have that I don't besides his own gravitational pull? Uh -huh. All right. Are, you from, are you from Long Beach, bro? I am. Born and raised. Born and raised. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Uh, the hood, the hood. Long LBC Beach in, in the, the parents' the house. <laughs> <laughs> Whereabouts in, in like a rough in Long Beach, like where the cribs hang, hanging out and shit, or if you're in the wrong neighborhood, like yeah. wrong, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No. What I neighborhood were you in? You in a tough Beach. neighborhood? All over, no. I uh, I live in for thirteen. I've lived on the north side of Long Beach, but Compton, Long Beach. What do you do for fun? Any hobbies or anything like that? I just started hiking. I did that for the first time. It was weird. Really? Yeah, I almost died. Let me ask you something. If a black person just start, if a black person starts hiking regularly, do they get whiter? <laughs> Since I'm already white washed, apparently. What's the whitest thing about you, other than that you hike <laughs> by the beach? I was over here, uh, Pasadena. It was over by Pasadena, but. Uh, I, I went that, to an yeah. uh, all-black college, and I left in one year. Oh, you did? Because I, I really do, disliked do, it. Doesn't, like, everybody leave an all-black college after one year? Yeah, that's, like, the, uh, that's that's the, the average. <laughs> or they didn't like you. you isn't, that, isn't, that how, isn't that how you get your master's degree? Masses? Uh, you uh, sons uh, of uh, bitch. Uh, yes. That's fucking br brilliant. Oh. There he goes, Kenny Brown, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Kenny. Cool, man. Sweet, sweet, sweet. We did it. That's Kill Tony episode 130 something. Look at this drawing. Look at that. Jason Galern, Brian Redband, motherfucking Mike Lawrence, and all of us, all together, including the chefs, the band. All these prints are available. RyanJBelt.com. So is the official Kill Tony poster. Guys, plug something. Mike Lawrence, you have a brand new amazing podcast. Yeah, it's called Rough Hang. It's on the All Things Comedy Network. It's a lot of fucking fun. Check it out. With yeah. our good friend of the show, uh, Dan St. Germain, who's done this before. And, and Amber the, Nelson, who's really funny. Yeah. Yep. And the great, great Jason Galern was with us tonight as well, everybody. Stand-up comedy. I thank you. I, I really enjoyed myself, and I think they did too. You can so. catch like JG a... here late nights at the Comedy Store, one of our favorite, uh, not just the comics comic. I always look at that like sort of like a backhanded <laughs> no, thing. No, I but, laugh my ass off. But you really are a lot of the comedians here, favorite comedian, Love just it. a true joke, Smith. Uh, the the chefs, make some noise for the motherfucking Fuck, yeah. band, people. Come on. Jeremiah's on uh, my big long stand-up show that I'm doing uh, tomorrow. Uh, catch him doing stand-up there. What else, Jeremiah? Uh, come see uh, stand-up on the spot every second Tuesday of the month here at the Comedy Store. Uh, it's a seven-year anniversary next uh, week, so uh, very seven years. That. That's seven, not seven, easy. Seven, seven. Patty motherfucking Reagan has a bunch of albums out. Give it up for Chris Dillon on the bass. Chris Dillon on the bass guitar, ladies and gentlemen. The great and powerful Chris Dillon. Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez, everybody. Shooting brilliant, rockets brilliant, from brilliant. behind the set. Brilliant. Me, me, Pat, Brian Moses, and John Shevsky got a Comedy Central Snapchat show coming out soon called Void. Yeah. Look for it. Check it out. That's brilliant. a Void on the Comedy Central Snapchat. TonyHinchcliffe.com for tickets to all my upcoming dates. Guys, tomorrow I'm running my hour, basically, in this room, depending on how f asleep the audience is by the time I get on. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be an hour or maybe a little more. That's a really crazy long set for me to do in Los Angeles. That almost never happens. So if you real Come audience back. members are in the crazy mood to do something tomorrow at 8 p.m., well... We're just going to be doing a stand-up comedy. Joe Rogan, Brendan Schaub, Greg Fitzsimmons, Jeremiah Watkins, Sam Tripoli, and uh, me. Right here. And it's, that's going to be a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah, Kill Tony Boston coming up on the 25th of September or something like that. 
And I have a Death Squad show here Wednesday, and I'll be in Indiana November 8th with Death Squad and November 9th in Columbus, Ohio. Thank you, live audience. We'll see, see you on the front patio after the show. Have a good night. Na, 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 na.